That's why they got them commercials. Them creams and you talking shit. about the one they be running Adam on the commercials beach? Be crazy, like, hey, I got, bro. I got gonorrhea. If you just look at the commercial, it has nothing to do about what they're actually talking about. At all. It'd be a whole bunch of motherfuckers living Smiling, life. eating good at a barbecue. Well, you got to think about it, nigga. What kind of commercial would a gonorrhea nigga have? It's just in the room coughing and throwing up. <laughs> Scratching it. <laughs> 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 like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, I'm f- <laughs> you don't want to be like me. And hey, that's so how they had them smoking, uh, you know. Yeah, that, that, true. Don't that smoke. That by smoking. Scared of shit. Yeah. Shit. Hey, look. <laughs> nigga just stand up. He like, hey, man, you keep fucking your dick. Don't look like mine. Nigga just pull his pants down. It's going to look like mine. No, that's a bro. charge, bro. They <laughs> <laughs> have a green dick. I made it to 34. I spent a night in jail, so now it's no more locked doors. My nigga, we back in this bitch. You know what it is. Yeah. One, that didn't rhyme, man. You just cuss. No, this I. This episode not monetized. Damn, we're going to start it over. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? Wait, like seven minutes, 10 minutes and shit? Yeah, something like that. I edited it out. I'm yeah. just messing with this nigga. But uh, it did rhyme. What rhyme? I don't remember what I said. All right. Green. No. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know what it is. Y'all know what it is. Um, it's your boy, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Mr. Birthday Boy. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what they've been calling me. Yeah. Yeah. Test all day. All day. <laughs> all day. Hey, happy birthday, man. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate birthday, that. Man. I appreciate that. Yeah, man. Appreciate y'all niggas. I got my knees out today. You know what I'm saying? We definitely can see that. I got my knees out. You know what I'm saying? That's what's up. It's your boy Ampavelli. It's not my birthday today. And we got a, we got a, we we got the homie man. Uh, <laughs> hey, it's your boy Jay go crazy man. We in the building man, holding it down for RAOP man. You there already you know go. what the fuck going on. There you go. You did. Mm. Well, yeah, bro. What you do for your birthday? What did I do? Um, so my girl got the telly for the week. You know what I'm saying? Okay, real nice, nice. Laid up for a minute. Then Very demure. Yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> uh, rode around the city a little bit. When she got off, we got grabbed something to eat. You know what I mean? <coughs> so today we just been chill, but the week we got some plans. So. Type shit, type shit. That's what's up. Yeah. Sound fun. That shit show. Sure. Amp, how you feeling? What do you mean today? Yeah. Yeah, it's a real nigga. It's a real nigga holiday. How you feeling? Uh, I hate this day. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> every, every, time I, every time I see September 17th on the camera. That's yeah, because he ain't calendar. a real nigga. Yeah, I know. It, that's, what, that's all that means. <laughs> hey, man. Happy birthday, fourth quarter, Quan, bro. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Shout out to my nigga, man. That's oh, my, that's my birthday with, brother, I'll, man. Don't fuck with you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Are y'all born on the same day? Exactly. Is he like 34 today? Too? Yeah. Okay. I think his funeral was today, too. Whoa. Nigga, not, not not rich homie Quan. Oh, fourth who quarter Quan. Fourth quarter Quan. Who the fuck is that? The DJ, nigga. Oh, excuse yeah. me, my bad, Quan. Fourth whoa, quarter Quan, my whoa, bad. Whoa. Hey, he but from, he from Quan, Arkansas, no. nigga. R.I.P. So, Quan. Yeah, yeah. Oh, rest in peace. We are rich homie Quan. We're yeah, not yeah. talking about that Quan. Rich yeah. homie Quan, uh, uh, home doing service. Terrible sick. See what happens when niggas get to drinking that tequila. Hey, from Arkansas, though? Who? Fourth quarter Quan. No, nigga, you from Arkansas. Oh, nigga, damn. <laughs> hey, shout out to A State though, man. Cheers to that. I hope we ain't got no Arkansas listeners. I'm about to talk a lot of shit today. <laughs> oh, you about to do Arkansas how I do Pensacola? Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> See? You can't. It ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun. Get him. Let's talk about the North Side. You talk about it all the time. Yeah, because the North Side ain't shit. All right. I'm not saying nothing about that on I don't know. I said all I need to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, it's your birthday, man. You can do whatever, gang. Yeah, man. I went to Checkers the other day, ordered a damn apple pie. <coughs> These niggas served it to me in aluminum foil. That's what I said, bro. I'm like, I've been on the north side 35 years. Man, bro. whatever. Like, <coughs> I like, bro, I ain't never get tried like that. I'm like, they know who to try. They see me, they're like, I'm they were like, let me go find something, put this nigga in besides the they put this nigga sitting in uh, a Reynolds wrap. <laughs> it wasn't even a Reynolds wrap. It was the Dollar Tree that, that shit. It was some cheap ass foil. Shit. Man, I started not to eat that shit when what? I was high and hungry. What you had got to get that? It came with like a meal or something? Nah, I just wanted apple pie. Oh, okay. Nah, I can't talk. I, one time I went to the Popeyes on Dunn Avenue. They handed me a drink with no lid on that bit. They said we ran out of lids. <laughs> 
they just handed me the cup. First of all, if you're gonna hand me the cup, make sure your hand's not shaking. I ain't that even gonna... shaking. All you see is ice, <laughs> ice and soda hitting her wrist. I ain't even gonna hold you. I seen them niggas hand um hand that shit in a bag before. What? Yes, bro. What soda? A drink? Yes. Nigga. I call a cap on that. Man. Yeah, nah, bro. You I call a cap on that, bro. <laughs> this nigga, <laughs> that don't even make this sense. Nigga lie, this nigga lying this on his birthday, got. bro. You gonna have to take this. I say that. They ain't that happy. How you fucking I ain't, put? I ain't getting no. Drink how you put today? a drink in the bag, bro? They put the drink in the. It wasn't the 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 takeout bag, nigga. <laughs> What kind of bag? <laughs> yeah, what kind of bag? It was one of them little sealed bags, you know, at the top. Like a like the little like a tea bag. bag? That, yeah. Like the little tea bags they was doing. I the Popeyes. Know. Yeah, you talking about the tea bags? Yeah. No, they actually served that in the tea bag the little Nah, they what? filled that shit up with something else. <laughs> oh, so they poured the tea out and put somebody juice in this shit? Yeah, I don't think I think they filled that tea up. In them bags. My hope I had never had to themselves? witness what you talking yeah. about right now. <laughs> I don't want to witness I don't this. know, bro. All I know is a nigga walked out with a bag of soda. When you go to the hood and you walk around the park and shit and they selling you the liquor in the bags with the Ziploc, oh, they shit. throw your straw in there. It was, like it was one something of one of them. Yeah, okay. okay. Now, I done seen like before, it was crazy. I guess they soda machine were down and they had like the sodas from like the store. Pouring that motherfucking nah, cups. that's crazy. Nah, that's 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 insane. <laughs> that's that's got to be against some kind of regulation. Flag on the plate, man. Like, <laughs> hey man, you see some wild shit on Dan Avenue. That's some shit I do though. I don't care. So you go to the store real quick. Like, how do you even do that shit? You just go to the store. You, you passing it to your ghost. I seen you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Going down in a major <coughs> way, man. You feel me? <coughs> so, <coughs> yeah, fuck the north side. I'm looking to this nigga Joe, bro. This your episode, bro. You supposed to thirty. You supposed to draw eighty one. This your birthday. It's your birthday. Oh, yeah, yeah, let's go crazy tonight. Do we got any suits we can rate? I meant to <coughs> stop by my crib, man. I wanted to grab all my suits. Ooh, yeah, you just um, too fucking hot in here. Yeah, bro. Next week when we get the AC switch. Yeah, I'm gonna um, like dying this bit. I got all in front my of the pictures fan, and shit. Huh? Feel good in front of the fan though. Yeah, yeah. I'm about sure. to pass out over there. Oh yeah, for sure. So yeah, man. Well, well, good thing if you put the suit on, you ain't got to take it off because you gonna die from the heat stroke. Nigga, I'm I'm it. I'm gonna bring, bring the pictures of, <laughs> of my suit collections. You know what I'm saying? My evolution of the suit game over the years. What you wearing? Like double breast suits. Uh, I had one and it was like that Chinese, you know, no collar. You Whoa. know what I'm saying? I had a suit like that, it and was, I don't even wear suits. I it was all like blue. How was that? That's the Kurt Franklin suit. Yeah, Kurt that, Franklin that, 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 suit. That, yeah. Okay, all right, yeah. all right. Yeah. 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 Nigga had an all white suit. As a jit, I ain't had no double breasted. Them, them, the double breasted was hard. It was hard. But yeah, from a toddler probably to like middle school, I got some pictures of suits. Yeah. Mm. What they like Easter suits? Suited up, nah. Just red church suits? These like I like suits, nigga. I see it? this shit. Huh? Well. Like up there, yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. I see that suit and it's suit time, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Iceman Mr. Kicks, let me get them Jordans in that suit, nigga. Iceman, they had the suits for uh twenty dollars. Yeah, Ice yeah. Man down too, that's crazy. <laughs> Oh, you you had Iceman yeah, and uh, home, yeah. okay, yeah, okay. It was the A rounds. It wasn't. No, that's not the real one. The Iceman here was owned by niggas. Yeah, niggas. Right, yeah. Iceman, Mister Kicks. Yeah. Wait, the one in, down there was called Iceman, Mister Kicks. No, nah, just Iceman. Oh yeah, oh, that's no, no, no. Iceman, Mister Kicks. That was owned Dog. by George Gervin. <laughs> <laughs> Legendary yeah. basketball player type from shit, here. Type shit. Shout out Duval, man. Yeah. Them Jazz getting their ass. Man, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. I don't talk about that. Not on there. Yeah. All right, hit that rate the suit button. You got to rate that suit, my brother. You got to rate that suit, my brother. You got to rate that suit, my brother. You got to go rate that suit. Arriba! Yeah. All right, I ain't ain't put it up. I want this to catch up a surprise. Uh Uh-oh. I ain't know we even had one set up. (laughs) I know. Come on, bro. (laughs) Yeah. You said Come you wanted, on, bro. That's Mr. Ed, ain't you it? You said you wanted to write a this suit, nigga. This nigga got a class <laughs> in the I ain't gonna lie on this heart. You gonna no, rate? bro. That that's bit the look freshest like a, horse, period. Bro, that bit look like a... Bro, you gonna be judgmental? You gonna rate, bro, suit, man. 
It's not we we don't discriminate on here, nigga. You gonna rate the suit or what? This nigga got a whore, a P blinder horse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give him a solid four, man. A solid four. <laughs> four is bad. It's out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, man. You can say, yeah, yeah. I'm, going, I'm still going with the fuck. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll fuck yeah. with that fuck. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, shit, um, yeah. I don't even know what to rate this suit, yeah. man. This shit is terrible, <laughs> bro. Them pants, bro, yeah, in the you... back, dog. Them shit look ridiculous, nigga. Where did you find this suit? That's crazy, bro. Don't, I don't, don't, ask, don't crazy. ask no questions, man. <laughs> That's crazy. Rate the suit, bro. Who the fuck dressed this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> he fresh though. Four horse. You he fresh, you gave him a four though. <laughs> For a human. We grade him with humans too, so nah. Oh, this is a Murphy Brown suit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get it. I gotta get his clown ass suit. Like uh uh yeah, this this shit is like a two, bro. Well, that's a bad idea. I hope he stand up on his hind legs and kick you. <laughs> I wonder if that's a clip on though. <laughs> what? The time, yeah. <laughs> that nigga ain't got no neck. <laughs> oh, you got plenty of neck. Pause. That was crazy, oh, no, bro. No shit. Bitch, you ain't gonna get no extra points. Put no move. That was crazy, what? bro. What the fuck kind of button was that? Bro? What the That's fuck? a warning. Don't a, don't don't do anything you else. Got that that chill? For it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a few of them. Yeah, you don't want to pee on Yeah, you in the cloud, the nigga. Know what I'm talking about? You a homosexual? Know what I'm talking about? I ain't got oh, nothing to get you. Is. But nigga, don't be trying to pause in the pussy population. Nigga with your old with, with your, your old CD. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro, don't do it again. All right, all right. I guess I got to rate it. Yeah. Where his shoes at, bro? That's what bro, I'm saying. It's bro. incomplete, bro. The horse? Yeah. Y'all ridiculous. The horse they live with shoes. So <laughs> can't. Are y'all she, peeping she, the hat? He can't take his shoes off. <laughs> yeah, the hat is crazy. <laughs> It's like a candle. The hat is insane, bro. I almost missed it at first <laughs> looking at the fans, bro. Them shit's ridiculous. That's an LL Cool J hat. Ooh. It looked like a nigga just pulling up his pants in the back. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, like he about to square up or something. You know what I'm saying? That's really where the folk come from. Like, I got to take some points off because I'm starting to notice that this like is one. Uh, it's a one piece. Yeah. It's a onesie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They had to zip that bit up. <laughs> Look at the front <laughs> right. What is it? A hoof? A leg? What is it? A horse leg? I think it's hoof. <laughs> That's the, the hoof is yeah. the foot. What the leg part? You can see his leg. Like it ain't on all the way. If they would have put shoes on, buddy, he like, would have slipped, and they would have sent him to the glue factory. A hell model. He, he would have tore this year. Do that, my boy. He in a good stadium too. Well, I hope he ain't got a doo doo. <laughs> 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 That's funny as hell, man. Y'all hate, bro. I'm giving. That's, I'm giving dog an eight. You giving? All That's right, crazy. Bro. That's I'm crazy. taking one point. That's crazy. That's I'm crazy. taking one point off because he got on the clip on time, bro. That Two. nigga got his pit showing. So what, bro? It's <laughs> just, he a horse, bro. He a he Democrat, a horse. man. He, he horse around. He a Democrat. It's crazy. <laughs> 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 nigga vote, <laughs> nigga vote for Kamala. <laughs> I don't know, bro. That's he look, hilarious. He look like he would vote for Robert Kennedy. <laughs> That's funny. All right, man, get this ugly ass suit off the All man, right, bro. bro. This suit got cufflinks. I ain't never seen a nigga hate on a horse, bro. What's wrong with you, bro? Huh? They folded the blazer back. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bed sheet, bro. That a, that's a lot of fabric. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, now that I look at it, bro, that shit a bad sheet. The hat, the hat, the hat just keeps <laughs> killing me, bro. I gotta look away from that ugly ass hat. Look at the front <laughs> leg rolled up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go ahead, the button, bro. That's all I got, bro. I had to heat. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta rate that suit, my brother. You gotta go rate that suit. Arriba. That was our first time rating a stallion. I know some hoes look like that. Bro, that next picture. You know is some crazy. hoes that look like that? Yeah. Like that horse? Yeah. You got something to tell us? I think they be on the north side. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. He said that, though. That's, <laughs> That's crazy, crazy. bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. See, I ain't go that far. If y'all see this nigga outside, yeah. you know, he said just that. Saying. I'm just yeah, saying. That, was, that was too far, man. Let's go ahead and do some voicemails. The senior voicemails hit saying. us up. 
424-260-RAOP. That's 424-260-RAOP. Yeah. All right, let's get into this first. Actually, let's do this one from uh, Will. Okay. Yeah, man, it's your boy, uh, DJ Willow, uh, long time listener, eight time caller. <laughs> nah, I was just, uh, calling. I, I got a question, a football question. Uh, who is the favorite player in your, di- in your division that's not on your favorite team? Uh, for me, me being a Saints fan, mine would be Mike Evans. I think that boy a dog for real. And he underrated. That boy gets slept on. Unfortunately, he happened to play for the book. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I let you boy, man. I fuck with y'all. I love y'all, boy, man. Yes, yeah, sir. I love you too. First of all, he know he, he know he's sending eight voicemails. That means you're not sending enough. That's like when you ask a person how many black friends, or white friends they got, yeah. and they be like, two. That means <laughs> mean, mean you're racist. My so, best friend's black. So <laughs> Willa know he's sending eight, so that means you're not sending in enough. That's real. Hey, but appreciate that, brother. All right, so favorite player in the division. So, of course, niggas, fans of the sorry-ass Jaguars. That's right. So... I'm going to go with C.J. Stroud. That's a good one. I fought with C.J. Stroud heavy, but we, of course he on the Texans, so yeah. can't root for that whole ass nigga. That's but, a really good one. Damn. Also, man, I was um I was hating Derrick Henry all them years because he was on the Titans. Man. Yeah. I fought with, bro, now that he's not on the Titans no more. Derrick Henry <laughs> is definitely one of them running backs that I had to like. Man, shit. Derrick Henry a dog, bro. That but you, nigga. you a Titans fan, though. I mean, bro, what you mean? I mean, you a Titans fan. What are you? I feel like I'm automatically a I Titans like my fan. Dog. Just because in Arkansas, we ain't have a team. So, yeah. Like Tennessee, there you go. Disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> what, y'all, what y'all niggas got? Um, I'm going to be honest. Like, when we got Calvin Ridley, I was super excited, right? Mm-hmm. Nigga did. Okay, for nothing. Us. Yeah, I mean, nigga ain't. Oh, had. I seen that nigga the other day. That nigga was catching crazy catches. I'm like, nigga, where the fuck was that at? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, Calvin really probably one that I still would say like is up there for me. So that's the player you rooting for that nigga now? No, no, no. I'm not rooting for that nigga, but you know, I mean, <coughs> that nigga is a great, great fucking receiver. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't Definitely. take away from that. All right, all right. Uh, shit for me, I'm gonna get Tyreek, man. Tyreek Hill, man. Uh, also, he rolled the window up on the crack when they said roll that window down. Mm-mm. I fuck with that game. That's ignorant. <laughs> I almost had to beat a nigga up at the gas station because of some shit like that. Nigga was just doing dumb ass shit. I said, hey, man, somebody else got to clean all of this shit up. What are you doing? Jumped out of line. He had some chips and like something else. Threw the shit in the air so it lands on like another rack, right? Runs over to the uh like nigga acting like he on dope, but where we at? We out on Pritchard, you know what I'm saying? What you doing over there? Um, that's what it you know. <laughs> By the time they hear this shit, you know what I'm saying? So um No, I'm good, yeah. Man, long story short, I'm like, hey bro, chill out, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody else gotta do this shit. He ran out of the line. I said it after all of this, he ran out of the line, grabbed a slice of pizza, put it on a little thing. But when he did it, one of them little pizza trays that you just closed the top on. Yeah. When he did it, he knocks over like 10 boxes and just leaves them on the floor, like kicks them around and shit, runs back to the line. He sets the shit on top of the rack and starts eating it in the line. Then he runs back over there, puts that same fucking pizza shit on the the counter. Mm. And loads up two more slices and comes running back. When he finished the first one, nigga throws it on the ground, picks it up, and then throws it in one of the racks. I say, hey, bro, nah, we ain't, I ain't, I ain't finna have that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just ridiculous. You the only, like, one of the only <coughs> niggas in here, for real. You know what I'm saying? You work at the store? Yeah. No, fuck no, thing. but still, bro. They offered you a job after that, didn't they? Nah, it wasn't nothing like that. I just, honestly, I couldn't stand that shit. The way that nigga was acting, tweaking, and all of that shit, that shit really bothered me. Me and him got into it. I really was about to beat that nigga ass. If it wasn't for uh, my girl being with me and the fact that I didn't want to go to jail on my birthday, I was going to punish that nigga. Punish that nigga. That nigga started talking spody, but I say, oh, my God. If y'all watching on YouTube, zoom in on my face. 
Hey, Come I got on, I got I got a witness to everything right Come there. You know what I'm saying? I say, hey man, you what know. side of town this is on? Like I say, the west side. Mm. Nigga say, um, he said some shit. I see you did that shit though. I say, boy, you ain't do nothing. I did that shit because I chose to. You know what I'm saying? Talking about cleaning up the shit. He was like, yeah, son, you don't know me. I say, nigga, we could get to know each other real quick. You know what I'm saying? Nigga start talking some shit. I say, bro, I end this shit right here. Hey, man. You all right? It's your yeah. birthday, man. Yeah, I'm good. You got to cool it, man. I'm good. I Getting into it with the local that, junkies ain't good, man. Boy, hey. Hey, that nigga was talking too crazy. Damn. I was going to put that nigga through a window, dog. But. What'd you say, yo? Nah, I'm letting that nigga get, I'm letting them get shit off, man. All's well that ends well. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. This nigga, mm. this nigga is insane, man. Hey, Happy birthday, Joe. Let's get hey, to the man. next voice, man. This nigga crazy. <laughs> no, we didn't get you. What's that oh. shit where you go in a room and just beat up glass and shit and beat shit up? Oh, oh. the uh, uh, anger room, whatever. It, it ain't is. no Something. fucking anger it's, room. That's, hard, that's a hard name for it. That's what, that's what Joe ass me, bro. <laughs> it ain't that, bro. Like, the it's nigga was, something. to me, that's just disrespectful to everybody in the line. Everybody that's working there, you know what I'm saying? And it's a bad fucking representation. Is it because he was black? Huge part of it, but I would have been like that with anybody. Once you start eating like that and you throwing that nasty ass food everywhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah. All right, let's get to the next one. Bro. It's called a smash room. Smash, smash room. Right, okay. They got one in Jacksonville? Yeah. Right, well, I know it's an orange part for sure. We can, we can make one. We just go somewhere on Main Street. They don't care. With some bats. It's just, just hit something random. <laughs> you hear this, Joe? They, they can not feel what I'm saying. I, 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 know, I, I, know, I know it's fine. We just, go, we just go somewhere across the street. They won't mind. We, we, we got two bats in here. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It'll be free. Mm-hmm. All right. We got, you got two from Banks. So brace yourself. No, brother. They finally got that bundle of sticks, did he, bro? Oh, oh Lord. This was predicted years ago. Hey, he going to his favorite place now. He can have a different type of ditty party there. You know, depending on how, what they get him with and whatever color. In New York, I don't know how they do the color system in New York. I know L.A., they go by the colors of what crime you commit. If we're all white, hey, Bundle stick party, bro. It, it might not be all white though. To think about it, it might be some brand, some brown thing somewhere, oh, some blue thing. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. What is he doing? He finally he about to have the party bro. that he always wanted. Godspeed. That was an insane voicemail. <laughs> is he happy, sad, or mad? while he was saying that? Like that nigga. That nigga needs he help. He was happy. Yeah, he was happy that Diddy Diddy gone. Well, that was a weird way of saying that. <laughs> that nigga needs therapy or something. Yeah, he started off, he, started, he called him a bundle of sticks. Yeah. Google what a bundle of sticks is. All right, listen to the second part. <laughs> now, this one even longer. Longer. It's it, 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 it been mercy. longer than thong. Nigga. Hey, man, I'm starting to see these bitches. When I say bitches, I mean respectfully. Hey, speak Sorry, up also, nigga. We can barely hear you. Female, I'm mad. I don't know, maybe there's some new TikTok shit with some bitches. I'm, I'm sorry to say bitches, I just don't know their name. Yeah. And I just met the bitch, but I care not to remember her name. I'll probably not even talk to her after tomorrow anyway, especially with the questions she asked. But for everybody listening, if your preference is women, I don't know if the bundle was sticks, if y'all had this happen to y'all and, and y'all feel the work, you know, the other bundle of sticks is like, what you do for a living? I do Megan the Stallion makeup. Who gives a fuck? But I'll just say this to the dudes really that like pussy. Uh, that's not including Talladega Night. Wow. Has a woman ever, what's the <laughs> most wildest thing a female to ask you upon me to eat? So I was at this spot earlier, this food spot I go to frequently. I'm coming from the gym. You feel me? I got to get my games in, eat, take my medicine so I can go to sleep. Quote unquote, California medicine. I'm there. I'm cool with her Green mom and her dad nigga. Yeah. and I'm chopping up with him. She come out of nowhere. One of the daughters, it's like three of them. This one I met is the oldest one. The, the middle one is bad in the motherfucker. 
girl so bad, dog. She could be fresh out the gym. I'm eating a bin. Potentially. Because I'm not, I'm not that bundle of six feet. Green ass you know, nigga. The female. <coughs> then one of their daughters, I'm like chopping it up with the OG and his wife and Wookie Woo. And then the bride, respectfully, when I say bride, she asked me, what you, where you work at? She didn't even say hi, bro. The bitch, respectfully, when I say bitch, she didn't even say hi. Right, you didn't say bitch like five times. Yeah. Just, just I said where I work at. I'm not, and I know you green. You thinking about that Tommy, RIP Tommy Ford. You thinking I'm Tommy from Martin Show. Yeah, I get you a job with me. I know you already thinking that. I know you. Nah. But nah, I told her where I worked at. We and then the big, that eating big ass plate of nachos. And I said, where you work at? Let us know every Nacho minutes. factory. I know that's green. But at the same time, hey, it was an opening for me. I said, let me get some nachos. The bitch said, no, I'm working hard. Doing what I need to do, being a technician, working with my hands, then go to the gym. But you up here working at your parents' spot, and you asking me where I work at, baby. Listen, hey man, listen, I want to beat them. I'm talking about it right now. I want to beat essentially. Man, no dig, <laughs> no stick. <laughs> That was the end on, of what, what? What is going on in life? The fuck did it? Bank, what is you going need on in friends, life, bro? You need fucking help. You need some local friends, nigga. Bro, what somebody you can that? converse with that is face to face and will your, entertain you. Your voice box is therapy session. Bro. Yeah, dude. bro, that story was so long. I didn't know what he was talking about a long time ago. I, I forgot a couple was... times what he was talking about. <clears throat> Man. I felt I, I I followed along with it. Yeah, yeah. It was it was the nigga it, met it was, a chick. It was stuff that only happened to banks. And yeah. she asked him where you work at. Yeah, she's asked him where you work at. I don't know where you was a. We need a follow. Was you ashamed of where you were there? Yeah, like, like, that nigga said, man, consensually, <laughs> I want to be. That ended it. <laughs> did you tell Why her? Why did that? you call us? Did you tell her that or did you? T- <laughs> and then also, he asked a question. He said, What's the wildest thing uh, a female ever asked you for? But that's he never not said, even a wild question. He never said where, what he, what, um, I don't know how that tied with the story, though, because she didn't ask him that. She just asked him where he worked. Uh, that's not a wild question. That's just a typical question. Banks are five percent. He said, "I can't believe this bitch asked the king <laughs> where he do a, I work." He a red pill nigga. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure, Banks. Yeah. I oh, I, only thing I can think of like some money <laughs> out, out the gate. Just asking for, for sure. Money. That's that's definitely probably the wildest thing I would say. I mean, yeah, it all ended with money. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. This nigga said the wildest thing a woman ever asked him was his job. If that's the wildest, I'm not even. I'm not sure what's going on, bro. What's his ethnicity? He's a black man. He's black just like us. Well, I don't I know. He kind of like he, 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 like he might be half yeah. Asian. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Know, yeah his eyes, eyes kind of his eyes kind of chinky. I don't know, bro. We gotta we gotta do a uh, what's that shit is? What's the DNA? The shit. Uh, uh, twenty three uh, and me. Uh, <laughs> we might do a twenty three and me. On that. <laughs> I think you're about like ancestry. Right, right, right. It ain't twenty three and me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't is know it? what that is. Uh, I think twenty three. That might be the the website where you feel where you look at the Jordans. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know what twenty three and me is, nigga. <laughs> bro, hold up, bro. Twenty three and me. Oh, let me That's see. Like a TV show. <laughs> no, nah, let me see what twenty three and me is. That gotta that gotta be like some DNA shit. I know I ain't make that shit up. I don't know, man. Twenty three and me sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah. DNA shit. Man, let me see. Hey, speaking of DNA shit, did y'all hear about all the shit they found in Diddy crib though? All right, we'll get into that. Oh yeah. <clears throat> well. That's it for the voicemails. To send those in, call us up at 424-260-RALP. That's 424-260-RALP. Transitioning into this Diddy shit, let's start by saying, this nigga's about to open up one of the biggest can of worms. Bro. I don't know if the world is ready for like how much we about to... He's about to go to prison for so long. If we can even find out half of what the fuck has been going on. You know what I'm saying? 
In hindsight, this picture is nasty. This nigga Devin Haney said, "No, no, no, this picture is disgusting." They say you gotta be in to make it to Diddy's swimming pool. That sounds crazy. He said that's the dream. Look, so at, look, but, look at Diddy. Is that yeah. now? Now looking back, bro, this might not be pool water. That shit might have been baby oil that they did. Because they said they found over a ten thousand. A thousand. A thousand. Yeah. What is it, lubricant? Uh, yeah, yeah. Both. baby oil, B- both B- bottles of baby L- oil, and lube, lube. Yeah, they used to call them freak offs because I ain't never seen nobody even buying that much. Oh, that's what they say in the paperwork. They say oh, freak they, they found them with guns too. Everything, man. Narcotics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah. found them with guns with serial numbers. Yeah, and I think like each gun is like a minimum eight years. Yeah, you're not supposed to have AR-15s in California. He's out of there, bro. Like, <coughs> yeah. How you feel, Joe? This your OG. Chill out. Chill out. I ain't gonna you, lie. You was a big Diddy fan, bro. You I, just I, was mm, locked up, so. Okay. <laughs> I think everybody low-key was a Diddy fan when everything was going good. Yeah. Okay. I had a I had a no bitch assness T. Yeah, Diddy had you know, a run. He did drop that, right. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? But now that this is going on, it's just like, bro. I remember, you know what's crazy? I remember one time I wore a no bitch assness T to school. Yeah. And my said you was gay? No, oh, bro, shut the fuck up. You I, trolling, bro. You no, trolling. The t- my teacher seen the teacher. <laughs> what's wrong with this nigga? <laughs> this nigga's insane. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. All right, so my teacher, she seen my no bitch ass in this tea. She said, stand up in front of the class. <laughs> huh? She was like, read your shirt. She was like, turn in front of the class, read your shirt. And I was like, no bitch ass this. Yeah. And she just looked at me. And everybody in the class just start busting out laughing. And she was like, don't ever wear that shirt again. She ain't make you take it off? Nah. Hmm. What am I going to be in the shirt with my, with my stomach out, nigga? No, nigga. Give you a school shirt. <laughs> Boy, we ain't no school shirts. Damn. Nah, bro. I just, yeah, bro. I thought I was, I was watching Making a Band. I was like, I'm yeah. bought a no bitch ass this <laughs> tea. Nah, for real. That shit was cool back in the day, man. We ain't think none of this was going on. In hindsight, you got to kind of think that no bitch assness might have been his way of uh, bullying niggas into. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess couple, it's true, man. A couple of years ago, I was like, he needed to bring them tees back. Yeah, don't do that. Don't hey, do that. I, mean, I, don't, I ain't no front, bro. Hey, like you said, I, I was a Diddy fan up until last year. He dropped yeah, a classic yeah. R&B album last year. Yeah. He just was awarded like 50 years of hip hop. Yeah. And then this. Well, that that also well, kind of opened shit up. That was just, that was just in up. general. It was just fifty years in general. Damn, let me see if I got mine. Because when he did all that thanking Cassie, hey man, the shit storm began. I'm trying to find. I'm trying to see if I got a picture of me with a no bitch ass and teeth on my Facebook. <laughs> I think all this popped off when he got into it with that uh, that uh, that white dude that owned the liquor. Boy, this picture old school like a motherfucker. They got into it. He said, I got Damn, something. that's crazy. Castro Cosby and your boy out of South by Southwest. Yeah. You probably can't even recognize that man on the right. Oh. Talking about you, nigga. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think I had facial hair. No, nah, you, uh, you had a Diddy face. But, bro, 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 come on, bro. <laughs> come on, bro. Diddy is going to the pen. <laughs> you might like that shit, bro. Like I said, bro, he, he that first shower, he gonna spike the soap. That nigga gonna walk in, throw his hands up, and said, "I'm home." <laughs> he might go in that bitch and be the man. He ain't get no bond or nothing. He probably the man. What if he go up and he go to prison and turn up even more? Here you go. I got to know. How bi- can he do that? He no, got, no he got bitch shows asses. in the pen. Damn that! Is, hey, you gotta add that. <laughs> it's gotta be the, uh, the the cover of the shirt. That's I mean, the cover of the show. No bitch yeah, assness. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. nigga, because it'll be like I'm pro Diddy, nigga. Nah, they nigga, gonna be they gonna nah, see me nigga. with the nah, they like gonna listen Diddy. to the episode. They charged him now, so now they it's go. gonna seem like pro Diddy. They are gonna see me with the shirt. They be like, this nigga pro Diddy, bro. Hey, bro. You might have went to a Diddy party. Why the fuck was I covering my face, bro? That was cool. To do he that. might beat a lot of them charges, but he gonna catch some some good ones though. Oh, nah, I don't know how you beat half of the charges he got. Yeah, classic. 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 Let me get off Facebook. Hey, that's the one you should have posted. What you talking about? Uh, today. Oh, they ain't, got, they ain't got Devin in it, too. Yeah. I got to post all three. Happy birthday, gang. Shit, that uh, fifth year uh, anniversary joint, that would have been a good one. Yeah, when your birthday? Um, uh, May 3rd. May 3rd. Yeah, my, my shit already, my shit already passed. What's, what's your zodiac? Uh, I think it's a Taurus. 
Okay. I don't give a fuck about Zodiac signs. So. Yeah, okay. Mm. Some oh, of that okay. shit be real now. <coughs> shit, my February 13th, Aquarius. That shit be really hell. I know some people say they gotta pay you gotta pay attention for the women and stuff. Mm. Just so you can have something to talk about. Like, I don't care enough. Yeah. <laughs> it should be true. Man. Cause they they get a little too far and yeah, they'd be like they guess. be like moon rises and all that shit. I yeah, I ain't like, into all that now. Yeah, they I'm be just, like the, the attitude, <clears throat> character, day to day character. Yeah. I be feeling like that shit. Feel. They be like, you a Virgo moon? I'm like, bro, I don't care about that shit, bro. Yeah, I don't be knowing nothing about all that shit. Bro. I just know I'm a Taurus and the I think rising. that's a bull. Yeah, yeah, the rising. What they say? Retrograde. Uh, they be saying shit like that too? Yeah, micro braids. No, yeah. They be like, what's your sign? <laughs> I would be like, beat dog. Yeah, they be. <laughs> I'm just saying. Go ahead and hit the gun. Sit up and don't hit that button, bro. Go ahead and hit that button for yourself. <laughs> Green ass nigga. What you at, 34? Hit that shit 30, 33 more right, times. Just. 34 years of being a <laughs> green ass nigga, Whatever, man. Whatever, nigga. All right. All right. So, also. In the Diddy, so we we already said he had a uh, thousand bottles of lubricant. Hold lubricant, on, real bro. quick, what you doing with a thousand bottles of lube? That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, <clears throat> oh yeah, that's guaranteed freak off. You can't do nothing else. You got a bunch of slipping slides. Why else would you have it? You manufacturing lube? <laughs> and nigga trying to uh, he trying to fry a big ass fish. He trying to <laughs> fry free Willie up <laughs> with all that damn oil. Bro, that's. But nah, it's not just like ba- like thousand or a thousand bottles of baby oil is insane. Only other person I know that got like a thousand bottles of baby oil. I don't know if y'all niggas ever know who this is, but Woochie Wobbler. Yeah, she, on, yeah, she, yeah. she got she definitely got a thousand bottles of baby oil. She, but also she thousand, need that though. Is that a porno star? Nah, she be shaking her ass hey, on man, Twitter. Yeah, shit. You saying too much, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my okay, do the Googles. Okay. But uh, what, what I was about to say, uh then it's like a thousand I seen somebody like uh, all that shit I throw off a pH balance I was yeah. like <laughs> that shit not being used on a coochie when I thought a thousand yeah. bottles I thought a thousand bottles I was like why ain't you buying it wholesale well yeah I'm I assuming mean, yeah he might be down to a thousand bottles <laughs> Thousand oh. single bottles. Imagine you work at a fucking Costco's and they be like, "Man, we got to order a thousand, a thousand, bro." What, what if he using like, that for just one party? It could be. Was that baby oil instead of water? That's what I'm saying. That that pool might have been baby oil. That probably nah, not water, bro. That's, bro. Crazy, that's probably bro. baby oil, bro. That is so nice. Oh my god. Nah, freak offs is in the fucking court documents. That's crazy. Yeah, that big got freak offs. I don't. And whoever highlighted <laughs> all the freak offs is crazy. The crazy part, DJ Academics was talking about they calling it freak offs. <laughs> That's well, that nigga academics, he I know rent dude, but he need to worry about what he got going on. He got some, he got some fishy shit going on himself. With yeah. him? No, no, not no, no. he might be. He might as well. But she was on revolt, wasn't he? Yeah, he was on revolt. I'm he just saying, on, I, my uh, bad. I ain't trying to throw that. No, 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 no. He was on, <laughs> he was on complex. Uh-huh. Yeah, he was on complex and shit. Uh-huh. The one, the most fucked up thing. So apparently, like the free calls, they wasn't just like, uh, like, let's say you what. When he say a freak off, like how long you think that shit is? Nah, they were saying it lasted a whole weekend type shit. Yeah, they said the shit was lasting like five days. Nah, that's crazy. And he had to have like emergency aid come through and get like niggas IVs from having freak offs for five days. I mean, yeah, bro. Like orgies. If you was have a if you was have a freak off, how long would your shit be? Hey man, <laughs> don't answer that question. Hey, man. <laughs> Hey man, did he like to have fun, man? Nah, yeah, that's an understatement, nigga. <laughs> too like much to have fun, fun family. But if everybody is consenting to this, I, that's where I see it might get crazy. Nah, I don't think. Nah, I say he got trafficking in the shit. Yeah, yeah, he was doing trafficking. It's like money laundering, embezzlement. It's, it's some. It's, 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 it's a some little shit. bit of anything. How much time do you think they gonna get in? Uh, he might not. I, I, I don't see. First of all, they they denied the nigga bond, so he might be toast off that. But he might not. He might end up not doing like no time for real. Why you he's say that? he's finished money wise. Why you say that? Why you think he might not do time for real? Because he got money. I think he should do a dub. I think it's From gonna what take. I, be seeing, I think it's literally gonna take all his money to get out. He gonna be old when he get out. It's gonna take all his money, and it's gonna take a lot of time. Mm. A whole lot of time. By the time they letting you go, nigga, you get that charge going and bitch you. 
time sir. <laughs> I think it's too many people involved now. Too many witnesses. Too many people speaking up. He gonna start naming niggas. Yeah. That much we know. Also, y'all niggas gotta stop mentioning that nigga Jay-Z and the shit. That nigga just minding his business, man. They just bring him up because he got pictures and shit with you. That don't mean nothing, bro. He don't, that don't mean he was like at the parties and shit. He just was, he just did business with the nigga like music wise. So, yeah. So what about Christian? <clears throat> Christian who? Cole? His son. He was involved in the shit too, wasn't it? Yeah, he got. I don't know uh, if he in this this assistant. extent of shit, but nah, I don't know if y'all seen it, but like, so he tried. Well, he got his bond got denied, but this was like the proposal. It was a uh, fifty million, and I don't know if y'all niggas see this bottom part. All his he had, I think he gave up one of his houses, like one of his Miami house, yeah, his mama house, yeah, and then at the bottom, I don't know if y'all can see that. Gave it the passport. All his kids got to get his passports up. And his mama, that see Janice Cone, that's his mom. Chance, that's his, one of his daughters. Damn. The Jesse Combs, and the, that's two of his daughters. And the other one is the baby. So the baby had to give up their passport too. That's crazy. So yeah, all his kids is fucked over in the game. Just because this nigga's a nasty nigga. But it ain't saying Christian on there. Oh uh, nah, them niggas grown. They, they, I'm pretty sure they already got their shit taken. I'm pretty. I think they had got arrested the other day, but they free. They was at court and shit. A fifty million dollar bond. Yeah, fifty. It don't matter. Oh, well, it, it says it they don't, already it don't surrendered matter. It. it got done. Yeah. That's a good proposal, though, gang. Yeah, I think they got. Yeah, when they got arrested, the <laughs> it's not a bad deal. That, that he giving up a lot on that shit. He ain't had to put them folk name <clears throat> at the bottom for their passports though. You could have kept that out of their game. Nah, he just has had to pretty much give up everything. It's like okay, because it might be a chance he might try to flee his family out of the country. But like, that looks like that's crazy, that, nigga. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, though. he's saying that uh, in that last one. He's saying that they've already right, given they, yeah, yeah, yeah. their passports up to the people. You talking about the older sons? Nah. The older sons might be the only ones fighting it. The ones in the bottom that are listed out, yeah. A to C, A to E, um, they've already given up their passport in the proposed package. Oh, okay. He had to give up his mama home. Yeah, mama home. Mama home was not. No, no, no. It was after raids on Diddy home, they gave up their passport. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, we off that. We talking about the mom house now. Oh. Yeah. Damn. Damn. They got an address up there. Yeah, that's crazy, too. Yeah. Mom living out in Miami. I'm about to pull up on her. I mean, she ain't oh, living I'm, in Let home. me edit that out. That sounds crazy. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy, nigga. Predatorial. What uh, up? But I crazy. salute it. That's crazy. <laughs> 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 what Andre Iguodala said, mom, I mean, mom's decent. No, <laughs> but yeah, the same time. Million dollar mama, milf. Yeah, she might need a shoulder to cry on. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Pop up with it. What do you think her favorite food? Is? Bucket yeah. of chicken. I heard what's going on with your son. You need a shoulder to cry on. The hit. That's crazy. Very. What you so? What y'all niggas think gonna happen with uh right. next with this nigga? She gonna get a dub. This nigga gotta get. He he lost either way, bro. What you what you what's your definition of a dub? Twenty years. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna get about twenty years, bro. Yeah, I don't That's see him dub, getting bro. off with no time. Yeah, for sure. I think it's just too much evidence already surmounted against him. In his face. So um but I think that some of the videos that he has as blackmail might be the thing that saves him. How is that going to save you? Because if you got some shit on somebody that is like this with the judge and they owe them a favor type shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, we know how the game goes. They say he got blackmail on politicians, on on artists, on everybody. Who Black- said that? Uh, media takeout? Nah, nigga, you seen that video I sent you? And Man, you check. talking about that cracker? Yeah. This nigga Joe believe anything a cracker hey, say nah. on Tic Tac. All you got to have some words <laughs> at the bottom. He don't believe it. I don't just just a white man's nigga believe it. Okay. All right. This, this cracker just talking, bro. I'm like. All right. <coughs> it's in the court documents that Diddy had the camera set up. 
Oh yeah, they they already did that shit. The first season they pulled out videotapes. So what are we saying? They haven't said what's on the video. Why did he not that's get rid said. of this stuff? He had plenty of time. <clears throat> because that's the blackmail. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, that's he the... said like keep blackmail on politicians and whatnot. Because I don't know if you seen like what's the nigga name? Uh, the the mayor of New York. A bunch of his homies done got in trouble. But okay, uh, that's fine. But what I'm saying is, then Kevin... he got in trouble, and there was a time that went by, and then they raided his house. Why did he not get rid of all of this evidence before they raided his house? Well, for one, he was already having to flee his house. Yeah, it was too late. By the time, because what's crazy is the first time he got raided, he left his sons in the house and they got arrested. So the, he was a, so he was, it was like one of them, he's just a shitty person. So it was like one of them things where he had a tip that he was about to get in trouble. So it's hard to get rid of all that shit, bro. You gotta imagine the nigga the nigga been prominent for like 30 years. Who you calling and say I got a thousand bottles of lube I need to get rid of? I'm like, all right, we're gonna come cut the tops and pull all of them out in the backyard. Then we gotta pull back up, we're gonna get rid of this. Nigga, you gonna flood the that backyard nigga, with nigga, baby. Okay. Yeah. They gonna kill so many wild animals. <laughs> 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 Somebody gonna be walking and just slip on lube. <laughs> 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 like, nigga, why the fuck it smell like Johnson and Johnson outside? Oh, nigga, nigga whole backyard too. I just, flood of them, baby. I don't know. I can't give him no more excuses, man. I know he ain't been found guilty yet. You know, he still could be found innocent. Yeah, I <laughs> nigga, I don't okay. know on what. Yeah, well, this nigga, on this nigga one of them guilty charges, as fuck, bro. Maybe, but. It's fed charges, bro. They got enough on this nigga. Because obviously, they said they were supposed to arrest him today, but they had to speed it up because the officers were trying to flee. That nigga had two Bally, po- Bally tickets. I ain't gonna lie, he should have been gone. He, he should have been gone. Yeah, he should have been gone. He was, been gone. He, was, he was feeling himself. I would have brought my, all these people we talking about mentioning the surrender day passport, they would have been over there with me. We balling over here. Yeah. Is Russell still over there? Yeah. yeah. So he, I thought he came, came back, though. He came back over here since then. He be, he be sneaking in and out. That's dangerous, Russell. He, think well, he, he, he used to sneak in and out. He kind of like staying over there now. But nah, the nigga, the nigga, the thing, nigga think he Teflon. He was feeling himself, so he's like, I'm about to, yeah, I'm about to stay here. He thought shit was sweet because you know, like the last couple of weeks, he was like popping out, yeah, like, at the beach and all that. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, he had um him think, and Stevie J. That's crazy. Yeah, Stevie J. Man, lock that nigga up too, ASAP. That nigga, yeah, that nigga was feeling himself. That nigga was meeting up with G Dep and shit like that. I'm like, yeah, all right, nigga. Rather right, been on a submarine. If I got fifty million dollars <throat> to post bond, I'd have got me a submarine and got the fuck up out of here. Yeah, a freaky submarine. <laughs> <laughs> a lube marine. Nigga. No, <laughs> nigga, that's insane. That is crazy, bro. That nigga addicted to lube, bro. That's that is crazy. Why the fuck we got this shit on? Why do I got that shit on, on that, that picture, picture that bro? Insane. <laughs> hey bro, that nigga said that was his dream, bro. Since that was his childhood dream to go to a Diddy party. This is what he had in the crib right here? Oh, yeah, yeah. When he got arrested, he had pink cocaine. Pink cocaine? Yeah, that's a, uh, what you call it, uh, ecstasy. Mm. Yeah. 155 firearms. Yeah. Jesus. I mean, but that's, I mean, he lit, matching, right? Boy, that nigga, he gonna have some withdrawals, right? While he locked up? Because if he addicted to that shit. Boy, that nigga gonna be. Boy, that nigga gonna be. You remember on Ray Charles when he was in that rehab and he was shaking? That's how that nigga Diddy gonna be in his cell. Yeah, they gonna give him a dub, man. He gonna get twenty years, bro. Uh, how old is he right now? Oh, uh, he probably he's in his fifties. Oh yeah, it's over. He might die now. Mm. If he start to talk, if he start to talk, he, man, he's, he's still he's, still, he's, still gonna get time. He's still cooked, bro. No. I'm saying, if he start to talk, he gonna die way sooner than we think. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I mean, mean, you know what? Uh, it, it, Diddy, you not watching, but you know what? To relieve all this, an escape rope. Mm-hmm. The Epstein approach. Well, like El Chapo. He's a, no. He talking about the Epstein. Nah, approach. El Chapo still. Oh yeah, you nah. Niggas don't fuck with him enough to, to pull off of El Chapo. Mm-hmm. Nah. <coughs> and Mex- Mexico corrupt too, so they be helping that nigga El Chapo get out. Well, Which- Mexico was riding for that nigga. Well, they came and got him like two, three times. Hell yeah. They be getting him out all the time. Yeah. He ain't gonna, he ain't gonna pull no El Chapo off of that. But <laughs> hey, man, fuck you, Diddy. Let's do uh, listening question- questions. 
real quick to send those in hit us up at mail at ariopodcast.com that's mail at ariopodcast.com so this one from home or join our patreon patreon.com sign up <clears throat> sign up for the one time for your boy birthday and if you disappointed with the content Fuck you. No, I'm joking. Mm -hmm. But you won't be. So sign up. Patreon.com slash REO podcast. Then you can drop your uh, listener questions into our Discord. Or you can email them to us. Yeah. Don't add me, dog. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah, niggas, man. Stop adding me, bro. See, just just send it to one of them. Because sometimes y'all be at me. I, I appreciate the love, but... My mentions be so crazy, I be missing shit. But yeah, do those. Whatever that nigga Joe just said, do that. <laughs> All right, so this one from the actual the Discord. The Discord popping, y'all. So y'all definitely want to hop into that. For sure, sure. This nigga, uh, this one from Talladega Nights. He got, he sent it too. He said, uh, <laughs> did I lose my bitch? She texted him. I only gave him my body. I'm giving you my mind. Is she doing what? Did he lose his bitch? We're going to have a moment of silence. But, um... uh, I'm going to say this, Talladega. He don't get no silence. He don't deserve that. Um, I'm going to say this, Talladega Nights. Like you never had her if she's sending you stuff like that. Yeah, bro. That's insane. Like... If she's not giving you money. If she's giving you money with this, then you cool. Nah, she said she's giving her the mind. So no, yeah, the mind should get that, the money, right? The, yeah, that sounds good. But yeah. if she's saying all that, then no, nah, she's just giving the mind. The, only. We got this to go off of, and getting this text would yeah, have yeah. a nigga ready to lose my fucking mind. Like I could, I wouldn't believe it. Yeah, no additional shit. Just, just off this, you want to know did he lose his woman? Man, the level of disrespect. She would have lost me. I would have saw that and just probably hit block. Mm. I mean, I hope that's what he did. Nah, he didn't because that's what he asking. He wanted us. He, I guess, when he asked this question, he wanted us to be on his side, because he definitely took her back. I just I know not. it. I hope not. Talladega, call in next week and tell us you did not do that, man. We need updates. Unless you're in a small city and you ain't got nothing else to do. That nigga live in Atlanta. He in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. tripping game. Yeah, the nigga, game. the nigga racked up. Not even the like. Yeah, bro. That you gotta, you gotta be better than that, bro. Mm. And how old are you? Or how old is she? Don't post this in the Discord ever again, man. No, no, nah, nah, I want updates though. I need to know what's going on. Yeah, we definitely need a, the 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 T. Yeah, man. Get your hair cut, guy. Go on, get your hair cut. She probably got good credit. Mm -hmm. She's like, damn, it's cool. Just go ahead and get the cat for me. Uh, hey, that's real. Run that play. Run that bit out. Yeah, man. She ain't, <laughs> she ain't doing that. Nah, it's over. You lost your bitch. Is that what you yeah. said? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You done lost your bitch, man. Yeah, borrow her car and crash it. Yeah. I'm just playing. Don't do, don't do that. I went too far. <laughs> that was <laughs> dark camp. <laughs> I went too far on that. Don't do that, Talladega Nights. Yeah. Just just yeah. leave it. Yeah, just leave it, bro. I almost incriminated nigga Talladega Nights. For I'm, real. You I almost said something crazy. Don't send stuff like that, because I almost told on you, Talladega Nights. Damn. <laughs> All right. Next one from uh, two three. He said, what are your top three video game soundtracks? Mine are Street Fighter X3, EX3, Def Jam Vendetta, uh, Not for Fight Not Fight for New York, and GTA 5. I feel like GTA 5 is a cheat code, because that shit literally got everything. In it. Yeah, GTA 5 is hard, but um, what did he say the second one was again? The second one was Def Jam Vendetta. Another undeniable. That, that, that one was cold. Yeah, if I add to add one, I'll probably add on uh, NBA Streets too. That man, that's a great addition. I was just about to say I don't really remember soundtracks that often, but <coughs> that's a good one. Yeah. Zelda actually had a, a really hard uh, soundtrack. Yeah, Zelda. Uh, I don't know if y'all niggas ever played Chrono Trigger. No, but that, that it just got a legendary. So a bunch of people would be sampling it after yeah. GTA, bro. That set a standard of. I feel like uh, 2K has had like maybe one or two good years, but they nah, should facts. be all over the place. Facts, facts, um, facts. It was one year 2K and Madden went fucking crazy. I don't know if y'all played this year Madden, 
this year Madden got the worst soundtrack I ever heard in my life. For real? Yeah, first of all, they that shit got that million dollar baby song on there. <laughs> and that shit spam it. Then it got like some Bia songs on there. Some and you know how I feel about Big Sean. That shit got like five Big Sean songs. Yeah, nah. yeah as soon as I turn Madden on, I'll mute that motherfucker. That's a that's a no go for your boy. I wouldn't buy it off that alone. Oh, it's a good game, but it's just like it's yeah, it's a terrible soundtrack. I ain't played Madden since But can't you use your own soundtrack though? Oh uh, nah. No? Nah. You gotta listen to that shit. I don't think I played Madden since two thousand and five, bro. <coughs> I don't think you can play a I don't <clears throat> the soundtracks. I mean play your own shit. I, I don't think you, say, you I don't think you can play Madden, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> shit at this point, nah, you That's know what I'm saying? Crazy. I can't I got whooped one time like man, I was dogging niggas. And you know how I used to be. Uh, you was what? You was doing what? Man, shut up. What's the button? Grow up, nigga. <laughs> you was <laughs> doing what, bro? Man, you know how I used to be like, oh, uh, you got Xbox, you can't play on PlayStation type shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm only sorry, nigga, say that. Yeah. If you could play, you could play. Man, the shit. buttons damn near the same yeah, spot. Yeah, everything, everything the same. I was beating niggas left and right. My homie came over one time. That nigga was playing like he didn't know how to do it. It was like, man, I got the PS2, man. I don't know what I'm doing. That nigga put me, bro. I that nigga that, had me down time. 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey, man, you know, this game ain't even that fun. No offense, Joe, but you look like you can't play better. You look like you, you like you a button mashing ass nigga. Hell no. Nah. You nah. had you was he talking about hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how to play matter for real, for real. Yeah. All right, bro. Yeah, is the game here? Yeah, I was gonna say if you got it, we'll, I'll come That's over. I just brush up the PS5 right there. All right, I brush up and we'll uh, run a game. We'll y'all be playing there. 2K. I don't, oh. I don't. I don't like 2K. 2K yeah, I was terrible. gonna say I dog this nigga 2K. So you can play 2K. One hundred percent. You play on like, Hall of Fame, nigga. Yeah. When the last time you played 2K? Probably. First of all, how many? Let me see if you're a real 2K player. How many minute quarters do you play? When when let's let's do it. There's like no that. win, nigga. It's a straightforward question. Nah, because if you play? playing like in a room full of people, you play six minute quarters. All right, you got it. You got it. You answer the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play sometimes. We do four minute quarters too. Oh hell no. Hell that's no. The, that's See, the short. But that's when yeah, niggas are trying to run the game. Like we five we six, money. Yeah. We trying to you know what I'm saying. Get yeah. about that. You do five or six. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I don't do. I don't play two K no more because I don't like that. Um, that VC shit. You gotta buy like points and yeah, all that. man. That's what that's what took the joy out of it, honestly. I mean, I, the joy was always always playing somebody else though. It, that was always the best role for me in the game. See, but like, you got to think now that we older, only way you playing somebody else is online, right? Yeah, and I mean, when in you person, playing online. I mean, in person, turn it up. Yeah, but it ain't like you playing a nigga every day. You know what I'm saying? You can go home, get off work, cut the game on, and be. See, three, four games deep before you, you know what I mean? See, before I'm you, you I used to play the game before we could connect up to all that type of shit and do that. This nigga for you, man. I remember that back in the day. Super Nintendo. <laughs> Sega Genesis. Man, shut up. <laughs> 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 this nigga old as dirt. Hey, man, man slow down. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> Nah, I'll be playing like my player and like my career and all that shit in, in the park. So, nigga, mm-hmm. I need it. When you play that, you got to play as you a gotta creative. Have you got to have a creative player, but you don't want to be on that bit with that brown shirt yeah. and yeah, them yeah. gray sweatpants. You got you to gotta get the VC. You got to get the V-Loan and all that shit. <laughs> you got to get, you gotta get the designer and all that Drip shit. <laughs> yeah, so I remember one time I bought a 2K. Whatever the last 2K I bought, bro, I had a look at my little uh, bank statement, bro. And you don't even notice. You just be like, oh, let me buy $10 here, $15 here. I added that shit up. I spent like uh, $280 at VC. Oh, like, hell no. Nah. I paid 60 for the game. Then I paid 280 in VC. Let me stop playing this shit. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. I don't think I had a game system in the last 10 years, for real. <laughs> like, I just ain't. I, I, don't, I don't play games like that. Yeah. I ain't got one either. But every time <clears throat> I touch that 2K, I'm kicking ass. This nigga, this nigga ain't got no game. He never had a game board, so. Man, shut the you never fuck had a game up board? about that shit. Yeah. Nigga, I know you was round, there when they invented them, so. Yeah. That's not a good comeback. I mean, shit, I do remember. You had a game board, didn't you? Yeah. Right. The ones before color and the ones when they went to color. Exactly. Yeah. Shut up, niggas. 
<laughs> nigga, nigga shit lived a sad well existence, bro. <laughs> These niggas was well off, middle class. <laughs> you know fuck, nigga ain't have a game boy, bro. That shit still unbelievable. Man, wait, shut the fuck up, nigga. I remember one time I took one of my game my boys. My brother had a game boy. We just went. Oh, you had it. access to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, that's like you had one. Nah, it wasn't like that nah, at all. Saying. At yeah. all, but. Yeah. <laughs> Cause me and my yeah, me and my, my brother always had like the Nintendo shit. Like he'd get the GameCube and the Wii and all that shit, and I get the Xbox and all that shit. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. Now, it, like, really, after the Game Boy, it kind of got to a point to where you know <coughs> we all kind of got our own system more or less. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Like by the time it was the Xbox and shit like that. Niggas could just go and hustle and buy one. But you know the, what I mean? The Game Boy, everybody, like, you can't just have, like, you can't share that. Well, why was your brother so special where he needed a Game Boy? That nigga was five years older than me. Like, that nigga he had it. That nigga was a golden child. I mean, he actually, <laughs> <laughs> he actually was. I need the game 20 <laughs> nigga. That nigga was the most important kid, bro. Nah, they, 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 like, gifted it to him on, like, it was either, like, his birthday or Christmas. Whichever day it was, that shit had his name on it. It wasn't, like, this y'all Game Boy, nigga. Now, it now, was, now you know who the favorite kid is. <laughs> that nigga had a Game Boy and y'all didn't. Nigga, when the Game Boy came out, I was like young as fuck. When they gave that, when they gave Joe, <laughs> Joe brother his Game Boy, they were like, "Here you go, stop looking at his Game Boy. Get in, get in your room." That made that nigga go in the room, bro. It might hurt, yeah, Joe. Up, nigga. <laughs> don't it you dare touch his Game Boy. Whatever, nigga. This is, <laughs> this is birthday. I don't know. I'm doing like that. Stop the magic, bro. <laughs> both, both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Fuck a Game Boy, nigga. That shit wasn't that. He fun. said, "Fuck that's y'all why, and Game Boy." That shit died out. <laughs> game Boy lasted what two years, nigga? Boy, nah, nigga. hell no. Nah. You tripping? Game Boy didn't have that. That boy said Game Boy lasted two he years. He couldn't even get that line, bro. <laughs> game Boy, yeah, that's 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 I ain't gonna lie. I used to see niggas in lunch playing that shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey man, put that shit up when I walk past. <laughs> well, that's crazy. I remember one time I had the big ass Game Boy. It was loud as hell too. The big yeah. gray one, right? Not the big. I had a green one. See. By the time I got at like the, the Game Boy, mm-hmm. they had like remodeled that bit to where it was like palm size. It was advanced and shit. No, that was a gigapet. Yeah, you know, nigga. I had a gigapet too. <laughs> uh, that was kind of zesty though. Everybody had one game. You just had to have a boy. Had no you had to have a boy one because you was a boy. No you know I, had the, I had the, the Jurassic yeah, Park. Y'all niggas was raising a little hats and shit. Y'all yeah, niggas. That shit, every time I used to go to school, that shit. Nigga, yeah, you in the clouds, the nigga, no. Nah, you bro. just pressed that button out of hate, bro. <laughs> that, that was shit, just some cool that shit. That shit didn't even hit, bro. That was just nah, the gigabytes hate. was cool. Gigapets, <laughs> not gigabytes. Whatever. It was a gigapet and a Tamagotchi. Yo, damn, your memory good as hell. They used to have them on the keychain, and, and then they, they did them on the watch, didn't it? You could do the gigapets on the watch. Probably. Didn't it? I know the keychain. The keychain yeah, shit. I, I, that's the one. That's the one. I just had the keychain, bro. The watch that just sounds too gay. Like you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. two, you two invested. I don't think. I think, I think <laughs> I a woman. Be, I did. When you was like, dad, you used invest. to be tripping. Huh? When you was dad, it used to be tripping. Yeah, he used to die every time he went to school. And you was like, man, talk shit. Yeah. That baby used to get go and die. You got to start over. Get me real. Yeah. But like, it, 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 but the girls when they had they shit. So the girls used to bring these to school so they shit didn't die. But if you was a boy, you couldn't you couldn't be like you had to be in the closet with your gigapet. See, because you don't want to bring it to school and be like just be in there. <laughs> but all the niggas had the gigapets, but they just left them at home because you don't want to be out there with the, with the girls See, with the gigapets. Yeah, in the closet playing with your gigapets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, certain yeah certain toys back in the day you had to as a boy you had to be in the closet. Nah, with that's it. Like, some real like shit. Like you, bro, you can't be at the school with a Furby, nigga. But you, you wasn't cool if you ain't have it though. If you ain't exactly, know nothing about but, it, you had to have it. Yeah, but you been not sure you got that boy. Yeah, that's you can't be at shit. school with a fucking what's that shit called? The little. Beanie babies, you can't be at the school oh, with a beanie baby, nigga. Bro. You get laughed at. Nigga. I never had a beanie baby. That's <laughs> I did get them free, like you know, probably like a kids meal or some shit like that. Back yeah, then. but that's about my it. mom used to collect beanie babies. So when I get the kids meal, she was like, "Give me that shit." Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy. Yeah, they used to at her job. They used to collect beanie babies. Let me see how much a beanie baby worth now. They probably probably about a hundred. I mean, a couple hundred dollars these days. I mean, they probably got some. Co- no, nah, I know for a fact they got some collector edition 
Beanie Bags. Nah, Beanie Baby. Yeah, Beanie, Beanie Baby. Ba- yeah, Beanie Baby, bro. Some people use them hacky sacks, though, right? Mm-hmm. Nah, them, nah. Well, hacky sack had a hell of a rush. Yeah, yeah. I uh, never could do that. Nigga, these Beanie nah. Baby five dollars, bro. These shit's worthless. Bro. Get the fuck out of here. These <laughs> <laughs> shit's ain't worth nothing, bro. That's funny. I mean, it ain't really nothing, though. <coughs> Man, real quick. We used to put our people through hell for like McDonald's toys and shit like that. And looking back, bro, them shits was cheap. Yeah, it was cheap. Inflation like, though, gang. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like, bro, it was just crazy. McDonald's used to hold niggas down. Went through hell, nigga. All you had to do was gonna drive through and said, I want a happy meal. That ain't hell. And they just gave you a toy. You, <laughs> ain't, like, hit a, you, you ain't hit it. Y'all ain't hit the uh, I got a boy and a girl and back here. Yeah, they nah. They just y'all toys. Nah, nigga. I got three boys back here. They go and, toys for three boys. Yeah, nah. Back in the day. Yeah, they just, saying, you, just go to the, you just go to the intercom. They be like, you got a boy or a Every girl. Every time a, co- a, a, a toy drop, you want to get the new toy, nigga. We wouldn't eat McDonald's that regularly. Oh, well, don't say we, just say you, because yeah, I right. didn't go through Shut this up, shit. Nigga. I <laughs> actually found out that the toys are never like the commercial. You know what I'm saying? It ain't never that. It it's ain't kind of like that. Ain't that eat them that it regularly. Like that. It's just, nigga, like, <coughs> anytime the toy dropped, it was like, hey, we want the toy. You know what I mean? See, like, when hey. that shit was out, all the toys, like, I was the only child at that time. So yeah, that's what like, I'm saying. You giving us hell. Like, I mean, you giving me hell, nigga. Yeah, stop I saying we. A big ass stop family. Speaking, stop speaking French, nigga. And yeah. this nigga was the only child. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was the only child, but I, my brother six six years younger than me. So yeah, my brother seven and my sister ten. So I was like the only child for a long time. So by the time the toys was hitting, yeah, yeah, all the power in the toys, and that's funny because the power in the movie came out and they had a the fucking head flipping on that motherfucker. They made it look like the head, if it like took the mask off, yeah, you got and a that, toy. That, that shit flip and yeah. it turned to a, uh, the Power Ranger shit. Yeah, you got that shit. That shit was cheap ass plastic, but mm-hmm. that shit was fire though. It was. They don't do that shit no more. Have y'all seen a, a good toy for a kid's meal? In I anything? I ain't got kids, so I don't be knowing. I mean, they used to have this shit on TV, but I don't yeah, watch TV. Yeah, it used to be a big, like, that shit used to be a big deal. Yeah, it did. And then, like I say, nigga, my brother five years older than me, so it wasn't like that nigga was eating Happy Meals. <laughs> <laughs> but that's because we didn't have smartphones. That nigga was eating Arch Deluxe. We didn't have internet. <laughs> Bruh, the potato, the potato went dumb. Every nigga had a potato. And that's the most dumb toy that's McDonald's a, ever it's dropped. It's a nugget. Whatever that shit is. That bit of a nugget, bro. That bit ain't a potato. <laughs> Man. <laughs> that meat nugget. I ain't nigga. gonna lie. I do remember that. That shit like Charles Barkley. That's some shit, <laughs> that's some shit you find up under your bed. Like, yeah. For real? You go over somebody's crib? Oh, nigga had definitely had this. Yeah, I'm old as Rose Gold. Yeah, yeah. That, that was lit. hard, though. Yeah, that, that was, was hard, lit back yeah. in the day. That was I ain't, See, I ain't get that set. Oh, I definitely had this right here. This uh, inspect- the Inspector Gadget one. I that had, one, I man. I don't remember that. Had to have that. <clears throat> you don't remember the inspect, bro? I don't remember that one. Nah, inspect the gadget. The hype was insane on that shit. I ain't seen too many. I remember on here. What? They ain't got the good hey, ones. That on. red dinosaur right there. Nah, hey, I don't which, remember which that one? one. Bottom left, right now. Bottom left. Right, right, right there. That's All a right. classic. I ain't never seen See, this. You too that's old. A, that's the happy uh the uh kids meal. When they served that man <laughs> 86. Yeah. Yeah, no, it had to be like 92 though, 91. I believe it. No, nah, I'm about to fuck your heads up with this. I don't know if y'all remember this right here. The Hercules plates. Oh, the Hercules uh, yeah, plates. Sure. I remember them shit. Definitely had the Hercules sure. plates. For sure. Shit, um, uh, what was it? They did like um it was like a green something. I don't think it was Shrek. It had to have been way before Shrek. Um, I know they always did the Shamrock Shake shits. Yeah, did I had these? I had these. That's I had all these, the little Batman cups. I know? was trying to collect them all, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't get them all, but Hell I had nah. a couple. We had like three of them. Yeah, type of shit. It, we had the Batman one. That's all the one. That's all the nigga needed right there. Yeah, that's real. Yeah, they don't do cool shit like that no more. Let me see. It's hard to, dog. Like, it's hard to get people excited about shit the same way. Everybody, The shit's so high that everybody want it cheap, and by that time, it's no room for, you know what I mean? That's real. I was seeing There's that. There's no reason we should still be paying $15 to go to the movies. That's ridiculous. And that's just for the ticket. 
Buy you a project. Never mind. I ain't going to get her up. <laughs> hey, we share the methods on this podcast. Hey, man. Y'all, mm-hmm. y'all wasn't outside, man. Nah, What's up? Uh, these is cold. My, huh? grand, my grandma still got these at the house. Do oh, really? The Marlins bowls? Yeah. I'm about, to bring, I'm about to bring one up up here. That's a bowl? Yeah, it's a bowl. Oh, it was a yeah, Florida Marlin bowl. Yeah. yeah. It was crazy because this shit sound ignorant. Them bitches used to be in the Applejack box. So uh-huh. look at that. Hat. So look at that bowl <laughs> and imagine that shit crammed inside the Applejack box. Bruh, Wait a Apple minute, Jacks what? Actually, might have yeah, that big ass love. that big ass bowl was crammed inside the Applejack box. Applejacks had the game on lock behind them little toys. You they see, were selling bro, the toys, not the. Uh, yeah, that's a big ass <laughs> bowl, bro. That <laughs> big was it. I'm not making this up. Yeah, it was all, a big ass. All, it was a all. big ass bowl, and that bit used to be inside the box. It used to be at the bottom, and yep. you get your cereal. You snatch that bit straight out. Yep. Yeah. That used to be the cool shit in cereal too, though, because cereal used to come with shit like I ain't never seen nothing. Nah, like I used that. to. Yeah. That's a family size XL. I used to go to my grandma's house. I used to just. Bro, I used to just flip it over the whole cereal like, <laughs> and get the bowl out. <laughs> and get the bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can probably fit the whole box of cereal in the bowl. Just put it, uh, yeah, just put the bag in the bowl. Mm-hmm. And the, the cereal back in the bag for grandma coming that bit. That's what Craig needed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to bring one up here one day. I think, yeah, this nigga got a stack of them bitches, bro. Might have to order some. Yeah, they're 14. Yeah, I'm going to order Do they actually fit? <clears throat> Could you put them on your head? No, that's crazy. Nah, nah they, they, they can't fit on your head. <laughs> like, nigga. That nigga put that shit on his head. They yeah. eat the cereal. Like, bro, why that bit taste like grease? <laughs> <laughs> that shit just tastes like sheen. <laughs> nigga, <the> tree oil. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> pass out. <laughs> this nigga got on a uh, plastic yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that motherfucker might hit, man. All right, let's do this uh, last listen to question. This from Tyler Digger Knights. He said, uh, Same, yeah. yeah, he back. He said, if you had to pick out Kendrick Lamar's, hold on, let me start over. If you had to pick out Kendrick Lamar Super Bowl set, what five songs would be in, in the track list? He said, mine would be DNA, Rigor Mortis, ADHD, King Kunta, Euphoria. And he just left uh, six sassy emojis. <laughs> Stop that, brother. <laughs> sassy be, emojis. Be normal, so brother. Hilarious. He said, but on a serious note, I would go not like us, humble, uh, King's Dead with uh, Future, Rigor Mortis, he was in a local band from New Orleans, A Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe featuring Jay-Z. Uh... I don't think, honestly, I don't think any of those songs make it other than maybe not like us. But I don't, I don't know that he's gonna bleed that into the the Super Bowl. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, dog. First of all, yeah, that shit all the way in what is it, Super Bowl like February? Yeah. I don't think he performing not like us. First of all, when you perform at the Super Bowl, it's a medley of songs for not like us to hit. He ain't even gonna be able to get the song off in time. So. Right. Yeah, bro. It's like we're not like us. Like you don't five think he gonna on? do that? Just the, he gonna do the hook. He gonna do the hook now. He might. He might do something to where it's like they not like us. It might be something like that re- to where it like of it. Yeah. yeah, it segues records. You know what I'm saying? You think he gonna be on stage calling bro a pedophile? No, 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 no. no, no, no. And that's honestly but one of the dun, main dun, reasons. Dun, dun, dun. That's dun, honestly dun. one of the main reasons why I don't see that song getting played is because. That being one of the the that's standout, it, that's one of the main reasons. But also that being a standout record and and matter of fact, that being a standout part in the song, talking about him being a pedophile, you don't want that associated with the Super Bowl in any way. But I think "Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe" is a good one. Um, oh, you saying "bitch"? Uh-huh. Yeah, I do think that you know. Of course, they're gonna they're gonna. Have him alter the lyrics. I think they not like us. His biggest song though. No, I mean it. It might be, but that's not a Super Bowl song. Not his biggest song ever is "Humble." You did recent checks on the numbers. Yeah. Okay. It's still what do you got? Like a hundred million. Something song like that. It's a couple of times platinum was number one for a couple of weeks. Yeah, it's humble. All I know is not like us ain't gonna make it. That much we do know. Okay. He will not play that record anymore. 
We got to timestamp this. We but because it, it is such a medley of songs, it's very hard to say. I mean, it's going to be more than five. Also. Yeah, I was going to say it probably going to be like 10 songs that that nigga goes through. What is he going to do, though? What you mean? Like, Kendrick puts on amazing shows. But at the stadium, though, like, what is he going to do? That's as the crazy. As well, oh, we don't know, bro. That's why he a genius. So he's going to come up with some shit that we don't even expect. He can't, he he not dancing. gonna do. I feel like the best song he can do is um, "All Right," but he already did that already at the Super Bowl. Yeah, when he when he came out with Dr. Dre, so he ain't gonna do that. I, I think it's gonna be some corny shit. I think they gonna <clears throat> pull Wayne out. They got a song. I don't think. Right? I don't think. I don't, that, no, I don't think, so. I don't think they do. And that would shock the. I don't think a post through the whole media. But it would also end Drake one, and then two, it would be and Drake. Yeah, that would bring it back together. No, when Kendrick's already said very like vehemently there's nothing that'll bring them back together man that money on to bring them back together man that right check bring them boy right back together guys. i don't think kendrick's in it for the money he doesn't have anything to lose in this situation <clears throat> people want to work with him regardless everybody gonna hit that everybody hit that little peak and then they gotta come on back now i got the nigga don't drop music he don't care about the money obviously you just don't like drake at all it ain't what why does it have to be that? I think the niggas that do like Drake go to that <coughs> and it's like, no, nigga, he's lost in this. He's literally in a in a Has he been charged for these accusations? It doesn't matter publicly how he, he has. move forward. So I'm not yeah, riding with you. You seen the YouTube comments last week? No. They said you were riding Kendrick meat, bro. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> What I tell them niggas all the time. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, whoa, Joe Rod and Kendrick. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that's what they were saying. Okay. Well, no, no more. Damn, dog. No more. Damn. Oh, I mean, man. it's just, again, how you how you come out of this situation? Bro, just, he just got a performance on, bro. Stop. I mean, I'm talking to the people. I'm saying, like, stop thinking he going to bring people. Just let him perform his manly song. Let him get his flowers. Did we can bring anybody up? I think we can just perform this shit. Did yeah. Rihanna bring people? You ain't gotta bring nobody up. But I got a list, bro. So I got yeah, everybody bring somebody up. <coughs> Let's see what you got. So my list, I got uh all the stars, a song with Scissor. That's a good one. It is. I got uh Mad City. I think, I think that'd that's be really I think good. that'd be good with a bang. I got uh Count Me Out. I think that'd be a good one. I got. I'm still. I'm still in this one from Talented Good Nights. I got Humble too. I think Humble would be a good song and DNA. Mm-hmm. He said five. It'd be crazy if I got a. Uh, if he just do his part on Poetic Justice. Okay. The song he got with Drake. He just do his part. That's not happening. But <laughs> I, that would be hey, shocking. Man. Hey man, we could dream. Something needs to happen to. You know what I mean? Kendrick is the biggest artist. <clears throat> of what? I got. I got, hold on. In hip hop. Uh, that's that's why they were saying that in the comments last week. Uh, that, I got one. I got one more song. I got XXX with U two, and I know black people, man, y'all hate U two because that one time they had put that song on your iPhone, mm-hmm. and I know y'all just got like ten gigabyte iPhones, and it just took all the space. Who did they bone on them? Yeah, mm-hmm. that, I mean, yeah, bro. It's yeah. They didn't. Them old niggas didn't mean to do it, bro. They just was trying to do some advertisement. Apple put the song on the phone, bro. Y'all ain't got to hate them no more. What was that, like 15 years ago? <laughs> They're sorry. They didn't mean to put that song automatically in your phone. That's what that was. Yeah, that was a bag. Well, I'm just saying, I'm talking shit because at that time I ain't had no iPhone, so yeah. I ain't feel y'all struggle. So. Yeah, I remember that shit. That shit was a huge deal. <laughs> yeah, they said, it was, yeah, niggas just said they woke up and a U2 album was on their phone. Yeah, the whole album, nigga. <laughs> you, you listen to it? No. You uh, you ain't like a beautiful day. Yeah, you did. I mean, it ain't it, it ain't that. I just didn't have that. That wasn't in my space at that time. It didn't it didn't pique your curiosity. Nope. No. Nah. I bet if you heard the beginning of the song, you would recognize who it was, though, right? Nope. Oh, damn. Damn. If y'all had listened to that YouTube album, bro, go down in the comments and leave a comment if you let if you listen to that youtube album let us know if you like this shit i was trying to delete that shit expeditiously damn like i said a lot of y'all niggas had 10 gigabyte iphones at the time so that shit that fucked y'all weekend up because <laughs> i heard you couldn't even delete that bit off of this <laughs> y'all niggas can't take no pictures of y'all kids mm-hmm. 
Not I know curious. that. I know that hurt. All right, I get my list. What y'all niggas got? Um, honestly, I don't know. I, I, because I was thinking like more like again, like you said, it'd be too many songs, and I think that in that regard, it's very hard for me to choose. I think it got some good songs. I think it could transition really well, but for the Super Bowl, I don't know. I wanna, I wanna sit down and think about that. I like the bottom list he had, man. I think the bottom list was straight. I ain't just really just no. I mean, yeah, you ain't the biggest kid. You know what I'm saying? But that bottom list he said, yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, Tyler nigga nice. His list wasn't bad. That, first, it up. that yeah. first one was crazy, bro. Yeah. That nigga definitely not turning. If I hear this nigga kid perform Euphoria, I might cut that bit off. Yeah, I was going to say, he yeah. would, all of that shit would be terrible. Let me ask y'all niggas a question before we move on real niggas of the week. Do y'all actually be paying attention to the Super Bowl for real? And now that I think about it, a lot of the times when niggas just be chilling, that's the first time to re-up on food and shit. Yep. He... I let the hoes see who here. Yada me, yada me. It all just you know depends, I mean? really. Like, <laughs> yeah. uh, the West Coast one, I know I stopped. Like, I I think the more notable ones, I stopped time for. You know what I'm saying? Like, that Justin Janet shit, I remember, like, every <coughs> nigga in the room made sure they, they was there just because of how big that one was going to be. Mm-hmm. Um, Shit, the one that, that MIA did the finger at. I know I, I stopped anything and I watched that whole set. Um, I ain't watched that because I ain't, I, me personally, I didn't watch it because it was Madonna and I don't give a fuck about Madonna. So, yeah, Madonna did that one. I think I was only watching to see that part actually. The the three women that, like the three black women they, they highlighted or whatever. But, um, MIA ain't not black. Huh? MIA not black. What is she? She's like Indian or some shit like that. She ain't, oh, damn. She ain't. Every time that shit on, I am either in the kitchen or where the food is at with my yeah. plate, and I'm hearing everybody in the background saying, "Oh, okay, mm-hmm. oh, that's such and such. She yeah. look pregnant." You know that type of shit. You know, yeah, I stopped and watched the Rihanna one. I think yeah, I saw that's Usher. That's, that's the last one though. I, but I didn't Usher. even see it because I was in the kitchen. I watched. I had whatever I was doing at the time. I stopped. I had to stop watching the Usher one. The Usher yeah. one was a must. Yeah, for sure. And I think I stopped and watched the Weekend one. Usher with that Diddy shit, right? Oh, uh, you said it, not me. Damn. Basically. All right, let's get into real niggas the week. So mm-hmm. Niggas get in trouble, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, Usher, bro. Bally. Yeah. Uh, now. <laughs> get there get, now. Get, get out of Vegas. Get them tickets, bro. <laughs> Go to that clear port, man. Put that money on they in their pockets, man. I seen, yeah, Usher on tour, bro. If y'all seen them dates get canceled. Canceled? I'm yeah. saying if you, if y'all see them dates oh. get canceled, we know where he is. And that boy Usher be having like cherries and be having <laughs> chicks like lick between the cherries and they be eating. That shit weird, bro. He a married man. He has gonorrhea, man. <laughs> you can get rid of gonorrhea. Nigga. No, you, you cannot. You, he got herpes, <coughs> nigga. That's oh, what you that's got. what he got there. Yeah. My bad. My, okay, yeah. all right. I'm tripping. All right, see, bro, I ain't just up. I gotta right. say allegedly, bro. I don't think it was allegedly. ever confirmed. No, I think he does. I think he admitted that. Allegedly. Nah, he never admitted. I thought him and NBA Youngboy got this shit. Nah, he ain't never. NBA Youngboy had it. NBA Youngboy had it. You can't have it. You got. You gonna have oh, it. Oh, okay. You got herpes. You got herpes. Yeah. Well, they ain't stopped that nigga from having ten baby mamas. He did keep the shit under it control, did. but yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, calm, and under control. I ain't <laughs> under control, crazy. <laughs> That's why they got them commercials, nigga. Them, them creams. You talking shit. about them when they be running hey, on the beach? Be crazy, like, hey, I got, bro. I got gonorrhea. The commercial, ha- if you just look at the commercial, it has nothing to do about what they actually talking about at all. It'd be a whole bunch of motherfuckers living Smiling, life, eating good at a barbecue. Well, you gotta think about it, nigga. What kind of commercial would a gonorrhea nigga have? Nigga just in the room coughing and throwing up. <laughs> <laughs> nigga Scratching like, his dick. <laughs> nigga like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> like, nigga, I'm fucked up, bro. <laughs> you don't want to be like me. And that's how they had them this. smoking stuff. Uh, you know, yeah, very, very true. true. Don't they smoke that by smoking. Scared of shit. Hey, look, niggas will wear condoms if they uh scared in the moment. It's cool. Your per, uh your health health class. They got a nigga just in there scratching his dick, talking about man, this shit burn when I pee. Lady hoes alone, nephew. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, nigga. 
<laughs> nigga just stand up. He like, hey man, you keep fucking your dick. Don't look like mine. Nigga just pull his pants down. It's gonna look like mine. Nah, nah, that's a bro. charge, bro. <laughs> that's <laughs> a charge. You got this jail, son. Hey yo, nigga just have a green. Hey, <laughs> nigga have a green dick. <laughs> what? Is that one crazy. That's the king of Rick, man. I like, like, oh, yeah. nah, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I ain't fucking nothing. I bro. quit school, bitch. <laughs> yeah, my parents gonna pull me hey, out of there, man. Line, man. Hey, bro, y'all ever? had like the day at the school where they had like a little sex prevention shit yeah and they bring like people who got the shit and they just stand up in front of the school like i ain't never i got that. aids they did have something like that in my that. middle school and yeah. i was like why in the fuck are we learning this <laughs> yeah. i was in the seventh grade i was like what the fuck is going on I don't remember that. yeah i'm right bro that shit was crazy because when they told us they ain't really they was like a little sex prevention shit or whatever but they ain't tell us like the guest or nothing. Bruh. So it was just one chick. It was a black chick. She was fine as shit. So she walked on the stage. And everybody was like, she fine as fuck. She's got AIDS. Yeah, she just hopped up. She said, <laughs> my name's Michelle. And I've got I got AIDS. STDs. Oh. <laughs> what STDs? She said, so incurable. She said, I got STDs, general ward. She just goes down. She oh, had a nah. bunch of shit. Hey, she the fuck the part is, is some of, it's, a, it's a lot of bad bitches. With yeah, STDs, man. Yeah, she fucked that one nigga. What's that one nigga in Jacksonville with the shit? Whoa, who? Uh, what's his name? Uh, the nigga name with a P. Whoa. Damn. Oh, um, is he a DJ? Uh, damn. Why? Why are we drawing a blank for this nigga? I ain't the got nigga name. name no, 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 no. The nigga name is infamous. And like Poon Pot. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh, that's his name. Yeah, Poon Pot. I mean, damn, I mean, she fucked. <laughs> nah, He's known bro. to be. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. This nigga. Okay. <laughs> the funniest shit ever when this that nigga, nigga got charges. When that nigga For Devin, Devin that nigga Devin was on here like, bro, I used to date her, his sister, bro. Yeah. And I was like, damn, you, you I was like, you got it. Yeah, nigga, like, <laughs> I like, bro, that shit passed down. Hey, I was like, bro, she was drinking out the same cups. <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah. Poom pot. Yeah, that's a nigga name. We're gonna bring him on the podcast. Ain't no, we not. <laughs> No, we're not. We're gonna put a glove on his mic. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Hey, bro, you gonna sit there? You gonna sit out there? The cord can reach all the way out. There. We're gonna put a camera in front of you outside. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Give him that Magic Johnson treatment. And what does he do though? Hmm? What does he do again? What's it like his occupation? Oh, Who AIDS? knows his occupation, nigga? He just known to have AIDS. That's. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it was a, it was a, it was a pandemic. That's how fucked up Jacksonville is. We better now, but what like the, the nigga, fuck? nigga was famous for having AIDS. Famous that's how, for having AIDS. That's how bullshit crazy. Jacksonville is. Hey, bro, nigga was a local celebrity for back having where, AIDS. Back where I'm from, we had a nigga like that. Uh, his name was Snow, and uh, but he on the audio shop. So if you wanted your rims put on or the sound put in, his name was Snow. Man, he drove a big white Hummer. Everybody know he tooted that powder. And you're gonna ditch out some of the HIV too. That's that's Whoa. that's a crazy way to say it. Yep. But he was paying them hoes. That nigga might have been Magic Johnson for real. Nigga like, said dish out. Like he talking about racking up assists. <laughs> that's how he was doing it because them hoes was signing up for that monthly pay. Nah, I ain't gonna crazy. say what y'all need to do, but y'all need to do something about him. Yeah. No, I, that, think, I think he that got nigga, locked up. That nigga fucking the city up. For he real. might be out now, but he owed it hell now. I think it's over. Like, no, he probably did, still he did out, his damage. He giving out that shit. He did his damage. <laughs> Damn. He, his children. Well, his, his boys and in the pussy population. Yeah, that was crazy back then. Shout out Snow, man. No, shout out don't Snow, shout him nah. out. He was a legend. Nah, nah, that was just nah, talking nah, about Poon nah. Pot. Not in the good we way. We ain't shout him out, though. Not in the good way. <laughs> yeah, had your shit right at the shop though. Angle nah, kept. We that. just so we just told this nigga lower. We ain't giving him no shout out. We just said the nigga was out here giving out the the hot dick. If you, if you from Little Rock, man, you know if you the right age, you know about snow, man. <laughs> I hope that nigga was giving back to the community. Well, <laughs> I mean, in nah, a he did have black parties and shit. Snow, <coughs> give away the shot and shit. Dude, like he giving out HIV, but he do give out turkey. Everybody knew. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> knew. That's crazy. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> knew. He actually came to the radio station. We did an interview with him and we asked him that question. Everybody said, You got HIV, you got it? Nigga said, Hell yeah. He nah. said, Yeah. Nah, he was like, He basically danced around the question and gave a subliminal no, but he didn't say no. He said, that, You know, that's crazy, man, that people would think. I would, <laughs> you know. See who niggas make famous, man? Yeah. <laughs>
That was crazy. Boom, <laughs> and time. snow. That's all. Right. Mm-hmm. I thought niggas making Shamar bad, famous was bad. That shit worse. Shamar's kind of entertaining though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, to yeah. I like. I I ain't gonna say I like Shamar. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 entertained. Entertained. I'm entertained by the show. Yeah. Shamar. I don't. I don't watch. No, I watched I don't one watch video. I watched content. one video. That shit was hilarious. It was like uh. Cause you know they be uh, roasting him because apparently he sell plates. <laughs> nah, so, I think that's a joke, bro. Yeah, it's, it's like a joke. Yeah, yeah, so he okay. did a video where like they act like he had his own restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that shit was that shit yeah. was so funny. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it's, it's a Latino Shamar now. I don't know, but we just need one. We just need one Shamar. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Like I say, I don't watch enough content, so it ain't no hate. But he gonna be on the podcast next week. Anyway, let's do real niggas of the week. They need their ass beats, and we up out of here, man. All right. All right. First one for my first real nigga week, man. Who is this nigga? That's my granddad. How you, how you about his age, nigga? Man. Damn. Yeah. Rest yeah. in peace, Frankie Beverly, man. Damn. You grew you up talking with about it, man. He's deceased, gang. Yeah. This nigga got no respect for his elders. I'm just saying. Damn. I mean, that nigga the elder. Who? I mean, <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> hey man, tell your birthday. Boy, I'm gonna let you get boy, off. You but you no old now. That nigga. You yeah. old now. You old. Today your birthday. Yeah man, it's Shaquille. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. What? You said what? what? You said what? He refers to himself as Shaquille. No, 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 no. I ain't, I ain't nah. What? I'm saying this that year. Oh what? <laughs> Thirty four, nigga. Thirty four. Yeah. Thirty four kill. You should have listened to Thirty Four Kill all day today. Yeah. It's always it's too tomorrow. late. It's too late. I got a year this shit, nigga. <laughs> nah, you got to do it on the day. Yeah. <laughs> that boy had the uh, Frankie Beverly and Maze, man. I yeah, never went man. to them old ass nigga shows, but I heard they was lit. I wish I would have went. Yeah, to I wish I would have went to one bullshit with, with a white hat on. That one in the um, Tom Joyner Cruise. I wish I would have been able to go to one of those. Yeah, for real. It's too late now. Shut up, nigga. What happened to Tom Joyner? He did. I know. Nah, he did. No, he, whoa, whoa. Hey. This is the second nigga hey, got killed on here. Come on, today. come on, come on, come on. Man, so, yeah. I didn't think Tom Joyner did. That's nah, he just, he just stopped. He retired. And he in a wheelchair also. Damn. I know I'm that. pretty sure you can still go on a cruise in a wheelchair, right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah, just gotta yeah. put you gotta put the little put the brakes on put the brakes on that bitch <laughs> <laughs> put them paws on it. Like, oh, you forgot to put the brakes on. Oh. <laughs> Nigga slide, <laughs> <laughs> Nigga slide it all over the dick. Like, oh. You probably gotta have a special one in there. I don't even remember though. Who looks for people in a wheelchair though? I don't know. They got that. They got that one wheelchair. They got the. I don't know if y'all been on a carnival cruise. You don't want to be in the blue wheelchair. That means you got too drunk and they had to get your ass off that deck. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never been on that shit. I need to go on one. Okay. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you in that blue wheelchair, that means you you an alcoholic and you need to get some help. Hey, man. That's a good sound. Like right? enjoy- yeah, yeah, sound like you enjoy it. Yeah, sound like you enjoy it. Yeah, the liquor is free, but yeah. yeah. Only if you got the drinking pass. If you ain't got the drinking pass, but yeah. the shit is high. Yeah, it is. Well, shit. If I ever go on a cruise. Ain't no if. Do you sure. want to go on a cruise? I mean, I don't know. You don't know. I like the water. But... You might not go. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you get motion sick? I get motion sick real bad. But nah, I, like, I done been on a cruise before, but it wasn't like no carnival or no shit. I was on like a a, a naval cruise. I, I rode back with the... um. Navy seals? No, 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 no. <laughs> the Navy. That nigga, that nigga that, that nigga's on a merchant season nigga, boat. Yeah, no, what nigga, were you doing, nigga? nigga? Uh, <laughs> it was like some sponsored shit to where like you get to travel with your dependent or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like with your sponsor, whatever. That ain't, that ain't no crew, bro. Yeah, nigga. We, we, that was a we voyage, was nigga. on the boat from fucking... <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I mean, you yeah, know. <laughs> Yeah, I get it though. I get it though. That nigga was on a Madagascar boat. <laughs> like, that chill out, no nigga. Cool, we was bro. on an actual aircraft, nigga. Carl, yeah. Also, bro, if y'all can, that's I know, cool. I know, yeah. Carnival be having the cruise. Uh, bro, don't go on Carnival, bro. That's the that's the cheap. This may sound racist, bro, but that's the nigga boat, yeah. bro. They be it be some and it be some nigga shit on that boat. You gonna see a fight? One? What's the good one? I don't want to say a name because then I'm gonna be feel like I'm anti-black. Just don't go on carnival. Like, I ain't about you, you to. You sound anti-black. Now. I heard Norwegian I was pretty like, decent. Yeah, I ain't want to like endorse one, but like, oh, this the one. Mm-hmm. This, <laughs> this, this the, we will take a couple cruises. This, and we might say that again. This the one the cracker. <laughs> this the one the crackers be on. <laughs> I ain't gonna say the crackers gonna be on there, but it is not gonna be. 
Never mind. You know what I, I want to go to? I want to go to Antarctica, bro. And they got a cruise to Antarctica, bro. What you going to do in Antarctica? Step my feet on the motherfucker. You know what I mean? And they going to drink glacier water like ludicrous. It's a nigga on YouTube. Yeah. 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 It's a nigga on YouTube that went out there. He got all over. You know what I mean? Your stomach, man. But that's some of the cleanest water out. <laughs> no, it's not. That shit got. Uh, I was going to say. That yeah. shit got a thousand year old bacteria on it. It's clean. I heard it's, in, the, I heard it's, the, I heard it's the best tasting water ever, but that shit got like a thousand, all kind of shit. I wonder if I'm you can purify that it. shit and then enjoy the same taste. Yeah, you got to think about it, bro. <laughs> that, that water, about a thousand polar bears that died in that bit. You got to think about it, bro. You, how many seals a polar bear that choke slammed in that bit and they ain't never come out. For real? Yeah, the seal to see a, po- uh, a polar bear to see a seal slap that motherfucker fall in the water. Now I just decompose in the water and you just took the cup and said, and that, might in that part of the ocean, they go nigga. crazy, yeah. You might get a super. Nah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, you might turn into Captain Planet. You gonna yeah. be super sick. <laughs> yeah. 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 My powers combined. Nigga be blue. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but they were, they were showing to where the animals out there ain't even scared system. of people. Cause they don't know. <laughs> 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 that is funny as hell. <laughs> yeah. All my skin blue. The nigga looking like Skeeter from Doug. Because he's drunk some blue. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, it's yeah. <laughs> But I want to go on that cruise. That cruise is like, I think it's like 20,000. but 20,000? 20, yeah. Damn. That's what's up. But it's like. How many days? Yeah, I'm about to say, I think it's like 14 days, though. Damn. Norwegian? Nah. You think uh, you'll be. You think you'll be. So oh, the that's a special. The that's a special. <laughs> you think you'll be tired of being on the on the water though? Shit, them rooms like apartments in there. Nigga, I did a five. When you did your cruise, how long you did yours? Three days. See, when I did, I did a seven day cruise one time. That shit was hell. You wanted like, to come back? Yeah, I wanted to come back. After oh. like three or four days, I was like, nigga, please get me off this boat. And you know, you can go to the Bahamas. You can go to um, Puerto Rico, yeah. uh, Hawaii. No passport, gang. Yeah. We can go. Yeah, yeah, we can go, yeah, yeah. We can go to uh, Jamaica. Yeah. But like. But the thing about that shit. Nothing. But well, the thing about the shit, if you're on a cruise seven days, you got to think about it. You you go to like at the most, you're gonna go to like maybe like three islands. Yeah. So you got to think about it. About three or four of them days, you just gonna be on the boat. Yeah. I don't even want to get off the boat though. Man, that boat be that's crazy. That should be torture. I'm just gonna walk. I'm checking every float. <clears throat> I want to see the whole boat. By the time we get done checking out the whole boat, and I'm gonna be dragging, eating, nigga, ain't nigga got, time to go. Nigga ain't got no internet for seven days. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's crazy. Cause you can't use your phone like that on that boat. Yeah, you gotta yeah. post the footage when you get back. Yeah, post the footage, nigga. I need communication. Oh, you you can't go on that. I said packages for you now. <laughs> I got good <laughs> packages. You can get that. That sounds like I, have, I haven't seen Woochie Wobbler in seven days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second whoop you all All right, man. This might you be trying anti- to tell us something. This might be anti black, bro. bro. He uh he killed this nigga, dog. Hmm. Not literally. This white guy. <laughs> News conference. Curry is the fifth of five YBC members, which stands for Young Bag Chasers. The new name is You've Been Charged. <laughs> <laughs> and the newer name is you've been convicted. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. He was looking around. He like, yeah, I slid on that yeah, one. For real, for real. Let me read the room. <laughs> All right, I'm about to kill that. <laughs> he couldn't wait to get that shit off. He was nigga, going. he wrote that one at the grill. He probably slapped five with a nigga like, hey, look, I feel that. <laughs> yeah, he knew he was about to say that for shit, so. All right, this on you, Joe. All right, so this one, man, I got to give it to our sorry ass organi- organization, man. Shout out to the Jaguars. Nah, bro, don't Take do the like that, bro. This, 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 this right here is some real nigga shit. Uh, this mother, every day after work, she goes home and trains her son, teaching her son how to be a lineman, it looks like. Yeah, officer lineman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she getting them right. <laughs> yeah. That's lit. I didn't know she was from Jacksonville. I didn't either. She might not be, though. You think, oh man, I hope she ain't have to pay to travel to see our sorry ass. And I doubt she does that every day. Yeah. <laughs> Full on hate. I'm just <laughs> not, nigga said, matter of fact, she only did this one time. See, he heard your anti black <laughs> reference and he was like, let me double down on that. I like that. I oh, like I where this going. <laughs> I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Hey, man, I had to stop myself with that cruise shit. All that, bro. This sounds kind of coony. Let me go ahead and yeah, stop, bro. Right. Nah, I'm, I'm sorry. sure, I'm I'm sorry. sure there's a lot of boys, listeners man. that be like, man, I love Carnival. Passport right. boys, man. All right, dog. All right, man. I'm sounding like Joe when he talked about the North Side. Yeah, nigga. Stop myself. Hey, this, uh, the Carnival, that's where they, um, 
that's where they was beating niggas over the head with them steel chairs. Yeah, exactly. Right? Okay, they did carnival. Yeah, yeah. 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 that niggas was like, gangster. Nigga Joe. I like, mean, that not. was some real nigga shit. Yeah. <laughs> that was some <laughs> real nigga shit. That. <laughs> Hey man, I got. I'll give it to the Jaguar man. This nigga Trayvon Walker, bro. This nigga was ass the other day. Yeah, that nigga missed so many tackles. Dog, man, that game was. Man, fuck the Jaguars. Uh, this one from Banks you got this jit. He was a. Uh, <laughs> he was suspended from. They said he suspended from school and asked to fix him something to eat. Boy, I know damn well you ain't cooking up my damn meat. Uh-huh. You both had your ass at school. Oh, well, I'm whipping it up today. No, the hell you ain't. You Ain't you suspended from school? But I ain't suspended from the grill, so I'm whipping it up. I yeah. told you to fix you some lunch. I ain't tell you to be fine up no damn grill. Yeah, this is my lunch. You got your nerves fine up the damn grill and your ass kicked out of school. But I ain't kicked off the grill, though, so this is my love. Oh, no, nah, man, you won't believe it. I hear this. Man, guess what? Yeah, yeah. This boy kicked out of school, and he got nerve to be firing up the grill. He firing up the, he firing up the grill, his ass is spinning. He's talking about right. fixing something to eat. What the fuck? I told him to go ahead and fix him something to eat. He done fired up the grill. Boy, you got a lot of nerve. But see, his mother, Dennis you can tell she you don't, she don't have no kind of voice. Uh, them some big ass some motherfucking pork. steaks, nigga. Man, she supposed no, you to come whip here. Look at that steak that boy in the back of your head. head. Went in my damn I meat. I would have let him cook all that shit up and give it here. You got yeah, some damn explaining to do. daddy should have ate it. Boy, I nigga, know. them some big ass motherfucking steaks, nigga. Yeah, I was like, I don't know what this. The dad ain't give a fuck. That nigga cooking dinosaur. <laughs> I ain't gonna front, bro. The mom kind of annoying. Like, man, shut the fuck up. Damn. I mean, she you could tell she she probably just do all of that shit for uh, social media because she clearly don't have no kind of authority Say so, over right. it. Right? Well, he because he was like, "Fuck you." Yes, I'm cooking this shit. Did she not see the nigga thaw the meat up? I mean, serious. Uh, well, even to that, she he probably took some shit that they was finna cook and just said, "Fuck it, I'm finna make myself some lunch." That's white right there. I'm, is that like? It looks like it might be chicken, maybe. I can't really chicken, tell. Bro. I don't know, bro. That's a that's a big ass chicken, bro. But I wouldn't have been so quick to judge him because I was like, all right, well, you are cooking, and if you're cooking for us, touche, my nigga. He also yeah. wilding, bro. The nigga kind of cooking. Grill, he in grilling the, inside in the patio. Yeah, that's a fire has a waiting to happen. Like I mean, she should, she was actually that. complaining about the wrong shit. No, nah, that is true. Like, like, nigga, all, nigga all, all smoke in the house. Yeah, <laughs> in yeah. the house. Yeah, the top of that shit finna be fucked up for one. Then two. If anything go wrong, nigga, that whole shit finna burn up like fucking sand. You got it right on top of the like, rug, basically. Like paper, nigga. Yeah, they ain't want... She ain't, I, man, I don't want to judge her parenting skills, but like, there's a lot going on. Definitely. Because I don't want to judge it. Also, I don't want to get too invested because this shit might be fake. <laughs> I don't know. Like, talking about fake. She's like, grill the meat up real quick. I'm going to make this video. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. Facts, facts, facts. It might be a, It might be Saturday. She's like, you suspended from school. That's real. <laughs> it's Brittany Weirds. I don't know who the fuck this woman is. This one from Paperwork Sam. He this like, actually he is like my, white. He like white women. He might they need their ass beat for this one, and I'm going to tell you why. Go ahead. Let me let me read it before I press the play. It says, yes, I enjoy watching my husband take other people's wives to Pound Town while he spits on me. It tells me how useless I am. And no, I'm not sorry about it. I love her. Now, before you say that, that's all it does. It just plays the music. I love her. Oh, all right. right. I love her. You go to her page, and literally, like, one of the first videos is her describing herself as a cuck gay yeah. wife or some shit like that. She likes watching her husband have gay sex. Oh, no. Oh, you ain't to tell us that, bro. bro yeah, that's not saying. what that said, bro. I'm just saying, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, that. bro. That's crazy. Oh, so, man, I love her shit. Yeah. Oh. Damn, Y'all falling for me? white women. And that's I said what, not her, but if a, hey, if a, if a bitch got that type of concept of thinking, you know what I'm saying? Her page like, says, if y'all like women like this, it's, it's like the Pineapple Express podcast. Yeah, look at check it out. I don't, I don't know what they could if be talking about. If you like about. women like that, after <laughs> what I just said, if yeah, you like women yeah. like that, that's crazy. With that new information, I will <coughs> not be checking it out at hey, all. Man, we got listeners of all walks of life. Yeah, yeah, true indeed, true indeed, true indeed. Yeah, right, this, this now, for those of you that do enjoy it, get your, you know, get your freak on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get your freak on, yeah. Missy Elliott. Yeah, man. get your freak on. Yeah. All right, this one from Aaron. It's a. Uh, Oh, well, he got the referee as his real, I guess, real Yakub of the week. So, uh, Jetta, shout out to him, Justin Jefferson. Yes, sir. Is he related to you? You know, 
He been going crazy, man. He just got a crazy payday. 100. Highest paid wide receiver. Yes, sir. So people say he's going to be ass this year because of- Yeah, my granddad. How much you get? 300 million? Uh, I don't think it was that much. I'm not really sure. I think it might be around like 31 a year. I'm not how, I'm not sure how many years, but I think it's like the guarantee is crazy. But um, they say he's going to be ass this year because, you know, the Vikings don't ever have quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. But, nah, they got Sam Darnold. And, and he's been going, going crazy. crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, it's just like one of them things where, like, he's going to be good no matter. Like, you put Air, Air Bud behind the O-line. He's going yeah. to catch that shit. It's my Air Bud, bro. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's some old niggas shit. Yeah, definitely. But, why, but on this, man, I know this is about uh, Jettas. But pay attention to the referee. Yeah. So far in the Viking defense, second down nine. Darnold, Actually, Messi Darnold. going he's deep, and he's got game. Jefferson. Yeah. He's got it Jefferson. Perfectly. It's a foot race downfield with Brown. Oh. Shifting gears. Getting a pick at six. Put that nigga on defense. For sure. Who's going to throw it to him? Shit, we need that to go. Yeah. <laughs> Hold nah, on. Man, you hard for sure. Oh, my fault. My fault. That referee is actually black. I thought he was white. See? Yeah. It's hating your blood too, nigga. <laughs> I'm Joe this I'm week. just saying he was fast. He was white or black. It don't matter. It's Hispanic. All right. Next one. Uh, this one from Richie. No, it's from Aaron, but it's the rapper's Richie P. Okay. I got CTE today. I try to tell niggas all the time. Sometimes you got to leave that bitch. It's that bitch that's bringing your energy down. That's why your moves not busting. That's why your that's why that's why the motion not motioning. You feel me? It's cause you you waking up, you stressing, you arguing before you go to sleep. You going to sleep with bad energy. You waking up with bad energy. How the fuck is you gonna vibe? What? How you gonna vibe? What? Feel me? Get up early morning. A bitch calling you, stressing you, pressing you. Where you was at? What you was doing? Who you was with? How the fuck is you going? Bubble under them pretenses, my nigga. Come on. How you gonna get money under them pretenses right there, man? We already deal with enough out here as niggas just off default. Now I got a bitch at the house stressing me out. Nah, my nigga, I ain't doing that. Yo, break up with that bitch, man, and watch you bubble. Break up with that bitch and you gonna <laughs> go up. I'm telling you, take it from a nigga who get money for real. He's spitting. Right. That's a fact. You only as good as your poor. Why did that shit skip to the Diddy? That's picture? a fact. <laughs> That's crazy. That shit. My, my laptop is possessed by the Diddy ghost. <laughs> but yeah, he, he's spitting though. You only as good as your partner. That's so a yeah, fact. you got a partner bringing you down all the time. Yeah. yeah. Especially yeah, they don't give a fuck about what you're doing. They just want to be Straight negative. Up. Yeah. We Facts. kind of alluded to that on the uh, Paid and Bays podcast. If y'all haven't already, man, go tap in. Well, it, that shit ain't come out yet. It come out. It come out Friday. But yeah, that oh, was a good, that was a good promo though. Yeah. Too. yeah, come out Friday. Leave that bitch and leave that nigga. Yep, exactly. Who was on that wild in there? Whether it's a man or a woman, leave him straight up. Uh, this one from King. He got this young man. It's a twenty-one year old. Explains how hard life is. Well, how <laughs> I got CTE today. <laughs> A 21-year-old explains how hard his life has been taking care of his six younger sisters and daughter by himself after losing both parents at 16. That's crazy. Sheesh. But he doing it, though. So, yeah, yeah, salute, it. gang. And look like nigga got racks in his pocket. Salute, so. gang. Yeah, he, he, yeah. Just stay safe, my young brother. As long as this picture ain't just a picture and he really doing that and standing on that month to month, you know, week to week, day to day type shit. Yeah. Also, I'm looking at this man. I hope his daughter. I'm counting. It's six, six siblings. I see six. It's like seven people in the picture. Yeah. They say he got six siblings. One and of them he got look a, like his girl. And he got a daughter. His nah, daughter that's that's a young girl. His daughter ain't in the picture. That's like a teenager. Nah, she got a tattoo on her hand, bro. I don't know. Well, that don't mean nothing now. I mean, true. <laughs> that's indeed, probably his girl right there. Yeah, the yeah I think in the dress. That's you it. think that's a girl? Yeah. And that might be his boy. Um, in the black. That's why. That's why I was asking because I was like, "Is one of these his kids?" Because he's just twenty one. Yeah, that might be his son on the right. I mean, on the left. Well, oh yeah, it's a six younger sisters, so he don't have a brother. Gotcha. Okay. So, oh no, he so, said he got a daughter. Okay, never mind. He said six younger sisters and daughters. I don't know who this is. Is that a little girl in the black? No, it's a boy. You sure? Oops. Let me be careful. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, young lady. 
Nigga, why, hey, bro, if you watching it, bro, don't beat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, salute, salute, though. For hey, bro, down, don't man. don't beat my ass, brother. Salute for holding <laughs> it down. We 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 giving you your bro. What is up with this picture, dog? <laughs> bro, <laughs> delete all of this shit off your computer. After this. <laughs> Kevin Gates. I don't want to see this next week. All right, Kevin Gates. This is also King's really Lord league. have mercy. Oh, this one too. This this is just hey, I played this one. Some iffy stuff, y'all. Hey, for Did, real. This almost took a sharp turn, but he made some sense on this. Okay. I thought I was going to take a sharp left, but let's listen to the whole thing. It's going to sound crazy. Definitely. Hear him out. I don't know who need to hear this right now, but I'm on my way to the gym kind of late because I don't miss. But I had to get my son situated. He had missed his flight, so he with me right now. But shout out to all the involved parents because parenting is very, very critical. And, you know just in a developmental process because my son was playing a little game and they was like hawk two <laughs> so i was like you know what that means when a woman give you hawk two and he explained to me his version of it but i don't lie to my children about nothing i told them that ain't really what that is that's just somebody that don't love you trying to get you out the way making a bunch of sound effects trying to trick your mind and have you psyched up like they really doing something they not suicidal unless they made it disappear so a person that's really suicidal, you know, and they're really evil, they gonna get down there and show you what's happening. So don't even let that trick your mind. You stay focused on your mission. Sound effects gonna do it for me. <laughs> that was real. That was real shit. Man, he told his son, that, man, this nigga ride around the city with a with a with a cut that, in half Wilson basketball was, bro, that was, combed on the top of his head. You happy the fact that your son is a fact? <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, this bro, nigga. that was some real shit. He was like, bro, don't don't get involved with the propaganda. If she a real deal eater, which I don't know how old Kevin Gates son. He was like, yeah, if she a real man. deal eater, you know that hot too shit. That's propaganda. Yeah, but that was a know. crazy way of saying that. Yeah, 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 I don't yeah, know, bro. Yeah, I thought I was a real nigga week, bro. I agree with that, dog. I get what he's saying. I get I what mean, he's saying. Yeah. He was like, man, don't believe that bullshit. I mean, I, I I I don't know how old his son is. If his son that was nigga, eight. Yeah. Is it reasonable? He's saying on lies. I wouldn't talk to my kids like that, but he's saying on lie to his kids. Yeah, but that's not lying if you don't. That's sensitive. Be ignorant with them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You know, most parents would have been like, "Hey, bro, don't say that." Yeah, straight up and leave it at that. <coughs> but uh, but yeah, also, I'm man, not gonna. I seen somebody. They was like in the uh, what's the little Halloween story called Spirit. Yeah, Spirit yeah. of Halloween. Yeah, they had a section with the hot tour girl. Like they had like costumes and shit. I was like, oh no, nah, because they got that. Wait a minute, what was the white girl doing? Uh, the hot tour girl on yeah. the street. She doing a on the street interview. Like she had just left a bar. She wasn't doing anything. And that and then it turned into some freaky shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she said you gotta spit, gotta on, that spit on that thing, thing. hot tour. And I mean, Whoa, that's, how, to it. that's, she, that's she, how that's, that's how it turned into a freaky okay. thing. Like niggas was saying that well beforehand, but. It, it turned freaky because she used that term yeah. in a viral. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. I remember now. I remember no, she, okay. Well, no, no, nobody said hot to her ever in that sense. She kind of no, like, no, no, no. Yeah, not in that sense. I'm saying like that's described to like really spit on something. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, hot to her. Yeah. So well, she nobody, was saying like, it. like nobody. I don't think nobody ever said it. it's like a, a, a sound. Yeah. Nobody ever yeah. just like hot yeah. to her. Yeah. 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 You just Straight spit up. and say hot to her or whatever. But she was like, you got a hot to her on that line, and that. she was country as fuck, and they yeah. made it out mm-hmm. to a thing. But it was like. Let's be honest, bro. You really in the field that don't really do nothing for a nigga. Talk yeah. some hot to her. Yeah. He said he said a suicidal what? Unless you plan on being suicidal. Oh, he was that I guess you know Kevin Gates, bro. He, he really get down and make that thing disappear. Yes, <laughs> yes. Man, Kevin crazy, Gates man. is uh he got CTE from um yeah. living in Baton Rouge. Everybody in Baton Rouge got CTE. But um his so he he comes up with his own lingo. So a suicidal just mean an eater pretty much. And she Kevin Gates kill to herself while she's devouring. Yeah, Kevin Gates needs to come out with a dictionary. That something. Oh, uh, like his own, like all his lingo he got. Telling him, saying Kevin gay. Gates and dictionary together. I caught that bit. You gonna get the gay lingo? <laughs> yeah. You always got. You gotta be a hater, even on your birthday, bro. That shit was I mean, on a song, bro. Gotta, that nigga, that nigga, nigga be saying song, a lot bro. of you gay got, shit, bro. You we can't act like he don't, bro. You, you gotta grow out of that. We hate, can't man. act like he don't. You don't have to. 
say it. <laughs> yeah. I like the old Kevin Hart. We don't Warner, have to like, acknowledge it. <laughs> yeah, we, sometimes we don't need the truth. <laughs> yeah, what the nigga <laughs> Snoop. Uh, what the nigga Snoop Dogg said? What do you gain from this? <laughs> what do you gain from saying that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. All right, they need their ass beats, man. I got Brittany Renner, bro. I don't know. She got she got some kind of little new finesse going on. She always got something going on, whether yeah. it's flat tummy tea. I thought there was Mariah uh, fitness the Scientist. Or, shit, they look exactly like. Who? What well, they said, Mariah the Scientist. Yeah, uh, yeah. What well, they said, Mariah the Scientist uh, factory. All right, hold on real quick. I got a call from uh, somebody. That... You have a collect call from. What's good, bro? We recording right now. What you got to say? That's a lot of calls, y'all. Oh, Who all here? Uh, it's me, Joe. Special guest. Yeah, special guest. You don't need to know his name. All right, hey man, listen, I ain't trying to sound like the feds. I just want to say happy C day to Joe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, besides that, listen, I need a three hour episode, dog. There's too much shit going on in the world. With uh, what are you talking about? Bonus episode? No, a regular episode. No, our, our bonus episode is probably gonna be six hours. With the regular episode, three hours, bro. Well, you know where the address of the studio is, so Man. we don't know where you live at right now. So oh, I'm right around the corner. Don't worry about that. Okay, make that drive then. <laughs> All right, so tap in. All right. Oh, that was cool. That nigga bang is a call. <laughs> yeah. You ain't say thank you or nothing. Nigga said happy birthday. Nigga I did just say, silent. I did say, say I appreciate nigga that. Nigga silent and shit. Man, shut up. Nigga. All right, but yeah, Mariah. Same TikTok, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what they said, Mariah the Scientist Factory, they all look the same. Yeah, Mariah the Scientist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she always got a little scam going on. This is her new scam right now. She got the hijab on. She's saying she's living out her car and shit right there and shit. That's a Benz truck. I'm about to say, that's a nice ass car to live out of. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you're going to live out of a car, that's a good one. Straight yeah. up. I know them seats Mr. Ball, all the way back. Allahu Akbar. All right, bro. I've gone through a lot of changes internally. And as a result, my outer world has completely <laughs> crumbled. She chat GBT this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, That's why she can't even read through it. Woo! Wow. Uh, leaving me incredibly uncertain in just about every area. In my life, I have no idea where I'm going to live <laughs> or how I'm going to provide for my son. But Allah has moved mountains for me, and I trust that this will be no different. I feel like Alice when she ate the cookie and her feet went through the windows and she's crammed in the house like that. I've outgrown where I am. Oh, great. The facade is fading, alhamdulillah. And I'm at a place where I don't want anything that doesn't have my name on it. Take it away. It serves no purpose here. And I don't want a penny more than I'm meant to have because I can do a lot with a little. So why are you making this video? Bitch, what are you talking The facade about? is fading. And when the facade fades and all the BS is cleared out, it makes room for what has always been for you. Mm. Mm-mm-mm. Oh no! Ain't this the bitch that was taking all the niggas' money and dating all the football players and basketball players yeah, and having their yeah, babies? Yeah, yeah, her baby daddy is PJ Washington. So what mm-hmm. the happened is now this bitch then ran out. <coughs> she she got all the money at first, got into it with all the niggas. They done yeah. cut the bitch off. Too many niggas done hit, and now she finna fall back on this religion shit as a you know what I'm saying bingo. Yeah. Also, I don't. I ain't gonna really say like. I'm gonna be honest though. I think this is a finesse. I think she's just trying to catch a Muslim nigga with money slipping. There so go. she just, yeah, this is just a grift. This is and treated this, like a queen. This is a lazy grift right here. She's she gonna catch a nigga slipping. Nah, facts. <laughs> she gonna catch. She one, got the game. Yeah, one of you it's Muslim proven. niggas with bread, they gonna be like, I got a little something for you, Brittany. Yeah. Yeah, she's so Muslim. She's Muslim, Muslim now. For the end of the week. Yeah, I know. People, <laughs> I know people were saying like, "Oh, she need to go get a job and all that." I'm like, this is her job right here. The finesse, the fin- finesse a nigga. For real? Yeah, she gonna catch one. She gonna. She, Hey man, she might catch this nigga right here. And she using they look. That look right there, she using. She's gonna catch this nigga right here. Yep. She's gonna catch this nigga Kevin Gates slipping. <laughs> you heard yeah. that song about this nigga get like him getting married in uh Abu Dhabi or some shit. Nah. So who? This nigga got a song about not having sex until marriage. Like, man, I don't even want to talk about that well, he shit. He got all kinds of songs. He got a song about him uh him begging his girl. F- to let his homie run a train on her. He got all yeah. kind of crazy songs. Yeah. Kevin Gates is <laughs> Kevin Gates is uh 
interesting. Wild boy. Yeah, very interesting, man. That's, that's crazy. All right, but I got just one shit. I don't feel like talking about this Ruby Rose shit. <laughs> um, these one niggas, they tried to rob a, uh, I think they tried to rob a bank and it came in through the ceiling. Police are searching for suspects in a bold robbery. The pair jumped through the ceiling of a check cashing business. Oh, they duct taped a worker and took more than one hundred fifty thousand okay. dollars in cash. Channel Two's Tom Regan is live outside that business on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive in Northwest Atlanta. Tom, the crime seemed well planned. Yeah, Wendy, this is definitely not a spur of the moment crime. Clearly, these guys did their homework, studying the layout of this building, figuring out how they could break through the roof to score a huge payday. Does that shock you, that amount of money getting stolen? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. It is. And then went through the ceiling? Yeah. That's crazy. Fred Stewart cashes his I checks here. That nigga like, like, I wish I would have did that <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. You let like, them hey. niggas at now. <laughs> I need to find him. Yeah. I got all the time. The but he wasn't here the morning of September 3rd. <clears throat> Surveillance video captures the bold, brazen crime. Just as an employee is getting ready to open, two guys break through the ceiling and drop down, knocking the worker to the ground. One is threatening her to tell them where the money's kept. She leads them to a safe that they empty. At one point in the big money heist, they tie up the employee, according to police. So how is the employee doing? I guess okay. You know, she wasn't hurt, but she was, you know, she was duct taped. In addition to the safe, police say the two emptied a couple of cash drawers running out of the building with a bag full of $150,000 cash. It's crazy. Well, I hope they catch the guys and receive the money back. <laughs> nah, bro. Well, they ain't hurt. Well, they, they didn't hurt the lady. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, that's a lick. That's a nice little lick. Yeah, right damn. Right Damn, I thought I got a lick for you, gang. Go ahead, go ahead, I thought the niggas got caught. Nope. Uh, oh, never mind. I thought they got caught. Uh-uh. Damn, bro. You <laughs> your ass beat. Uh-huh. I thought they got caught, bro. Well, yeah. all right. Let's yeah. let's let's be real, bro. That's either one, she know who the motherfuckers is. Yes. Or two, they used to work there. I don't know that it's either, honestly. They just might have went in there and cast a chick one time. So or there had to be somebody that, that, every time. Not had even be, just that. There had to be somebody that worked. You gotta like know the inside of the building. That had to be somebody that Nigga, they ain't come in through the building. It gotta it could have been somebody that did maintenance up there. It could have been somebody. I was just about to say that before you cut me off, nigga. My bad. I'm about to be back. Went up down there. Yeah, I'm about to be somebody that worked on the building. Exactly. Be like, yeah, this one dropped right down into the (laughs) be like, what? Not even just that. He probably he probably ain't even know he was you know, a part of a crime type shit. Like, man. These shitty, I'd be scared to go up there because as soon as you take a step, you could drop right through the, you know what I mean? They'd be like, hmm. Whatever well, they were working on a building, they fell through. Like, shit, we might rob this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and got away with it. That's a real shit. Now, that's a lick. They actually, because you, the other nigga you seen, it took him a long time to fall down. Yeah. And he was like, fuck, look at that. That nigga want to break his legs. <laughs> somebody was walking through the front door when they was doing this shit. I wonder if they Yeah, it was like somebody was just passing by and was like, what the fuck? Yeah. It was like, y'all ever see the movie The Town? The oh. town is the bank robbery movie. Yeah, it was the scene when they had robbed a bank and they and they had on a little mask. They look over, they seen the cop looking at them, and he was just staring at their ass, and he was like, "Shit, I ain't seen nothing." I that. ain't seen nothing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to watch that. Sometimes <laughs> shit just work out like that. Yeah, that's for real. A hundred K is a good lick, game. Oh yeah, yeah, that's bro. a great lick. I ain't never, I ain't never saying niggas did anything legal, but all y'all did some shit, and the cops seen y'all and like, not the cops, but shit. The store in Orlando, and as soon as I walked in, whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, statues. As soon as I walked in, nigga, like, seen me, and the nigga walked out immediately, like, a patron, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, seen me, and I guess that nigga seen what kind of time I was on, immediately exited the store. That's crazy. I'm gonna edit that out. Yeah, that's just, crazy. Just, just, just you say. just admit it. <laughs> I'm gonna edit that out. Just and be just safe. because you say uh, statue of limitations, that doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I ain't say what store. Save you. It, huh? it is a seven year statue, but I like, ain't say what store. Ain't say what store? That. When there might none be? That. You might fit the profile that. tonight. Yeah. Nah, yeah. none of that. Last week, I guarantee. I mean, I guarantee that uh, it was in Dallas. I didn't this too. Nah, the, say that. Uh, the owner he uh he used to be on powder, so he ain't even know. Like he 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 want to call it in like that. So. Stop right there. Yeah, right, <laughs> go uh, back I into got, it. I got FSU. They need their ass beat, man. Worst team, worst college football team ever. 
They yeah. play. They Y'all paid State? Memphis. Yeah, they paid Memphis to play in Florida. One point three million paid them niggas to get get their ass spanked. Now we zero and three. Yeah, I ain't watching no more of you punk ass niggas games. That's how y'all do. That's a good yeah. league too. I know you ain't talking. I'm gonna let you get your shit off. It's your birthday, and I feel like I've been roasting you enough. You ain't got a dating ass beat. Shit, the Gators. <laughs> oh yeah, y'all and fired. The Jaguars. Y'all fired Fuck your it. coach. Oh yeah, yeah we had to. You think the Jaguars need to fire the coach? Too? I don't know that they need to fire. You oh, know, that last game, Doug lost that shit. I'm gonna be honest. They might actually just because. Here's my thing. We've had a decent team the last two years, and it definitely doesn't show on the record. Yeah. You know, it's like we keep losing. That's that is we dope. losing games that we should. If we lose next game, I legit told somebody. I say, yo, Sunday, don't even worry about shit. Cash the check. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the Browns ain't finna beat us. <coughs> I thought that was an easy one. And then after seeing the Dolphins play that game they played and the way they lost, I was like, bro, we should be 2-0, bro. Straight up. But I just go back to even the Mark Brunel days where we used to lose games by like three points. Yep. Easy yep. games. I was like, that's just the story of the Jaguars. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Uh, I don't feel like talking about these lame niggas skipping through these bitches. Okay, oh, this nah, one, this one, needs this one from Grand for National. This nigga, this is my favorite food reviewer, but this nigga tripping, bro. Mm-hmm. I just play a little bit of it. Currently, I'm submerged in raisin cane sauce. A hundred gallons of raisin cane sauce. Now that I've said that out loud for me and the homies in the world to hear, this shit is insane. It's insane. Let me tell you how we got here. We went through 76 gallons. That's how Diddy should have had their little come in. 36 gallons of ketchup, <laughs> salted taste. He said that's taste, how it was. Diddy should have had their little come in. Pepper, All right, chill. He probably did. We did the whole he nine. It was about 10, 15 <laughs> hours, but yeah, here like, we are. Carisha we'll also be trying all the popular <laughs> fast food items with me <laughs> submerged in raisin cane sauce. Because by the end of this video, you will know which fast food items goes best with raisin cane sauce. There you go. I'm so sorry, we'll start out with but dipping cane. your food in sauce canes, probably like that got your meat like, and your feet in it now. is it's crazy. Sauce. It's not a direct connect. No, it's the liquid we sardines. Fries too. Like I don't give sauce. a damn. A chicken sandwich. I do it anyway. Okay, yeah, that's crazy. Because so, they're stepping in dirt the sauce. Yeah, yeah so, nigga, for one and for two, you had to sink your meat through the top layers anyway. Fries. He had on clothes. It's your body, nigga. I don't give a damn. Damn. You don't like you, nigga. Oh, yeah. The soft thing I got like hydrated. the company. Next, we got Wingstop. Lemon pepper. You know what? Dip in the Something about Wingstop. When they, doing they taste it in the oil. Oil. Yeah, They really hit a miss, though. Cane sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Another level of greatness, for sure. Corn. I'm not going to lie. This is original. I've never <laughs> seen anybody do this. Yeah, nobody ever did this. I, I see like some like, coon like, shit. Damn. Can, Damn. can a black brother do something, Joe? I, I mean, that's why he in there for Danny Dez beat. Hey, man, I respect him as okay. a content creator, but he coming up with original shit. Nobody else doing this. I ain't never seen Keith, him like Keith Lee ass ain't in no sauce. That's <laughs> true. That's right. He took it to another level. <laughs> yeah, he get, I, yeah. Now that I think about it, we might have to retract this Danny Dez. But I kind of, <laughs> as a nigga that. I don't know that he could be real nigga <laughs> of the week, though. Oh, no, no, nah, definitely. Nah. I'm just going to reach out that they need to ask me. Okay, I was going to say. Because it's sometimes, like, as niggas that create content, we should know that, like, sometimes, yeah, like, you got to think out of the box and 100%. do, like, shit. That, like, yeah, you got to set your stand. Because at the end of the day, because him and Keith Lee just be sitting in their cars. Mm-hmm. It's getting it's born. Like, you got yeah, they should get born. That's real. <laughs> I do I do give Chime Time some credit because he, he did a, uh episode, well, you could call him episode. He video fucking this one eleven minutes long, so he damn near episode. Yeah. But he did a video where he was at Bucky's and he like spent the night at Bucky's and camped out. I was really? like, hey, niggas ain't doing that. I remember when people doing that at Walmart, and Target, and shit. Oh yeah, I remember niggas that. Niggas went to jail for this shit too. Yeah, niggas would be in a uh, fucking paper towel aisle. Oh, you camp behind. out inside. Yeah. yeah, and do uh cute videos. That's crazy. <laughs> Definitely crazy. There was a couple of people who got caught though. They were pretending like they were doing it, but it was like they used to go like Walmart at, at like 10 p.m. or some shit or early in the morning. Yeah. And pretend like they're camping. It would really they while well, it's closed, but really that bitch still be open. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's funny. All right, this one from Marcel. Well, Bucky's don't close, do it. No, nah, he was talking about Walmart though. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, these people they think they got uh, telekinesis. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. 
literally a dude on Instagram that sets up battles in some room to where they have two pieces of aluminum foil and they do that back and forth against against each other and there are all kinds of rules to it and all kinds of yeah, shit. First of, is crazy. Yeah, first of all, bro, that shit blowing from the gust of wind. Yes, yeah, y'all know aerodynamics <clears throat> and currents and that's what that is. That's not any Hey, power. man, I, I'm going to get him the real nigga of the week because he got him a dummy right there. He got her hooked. I said on Twitter, I like, by Mark, they're going to be in a polyamorous relationship. Yeah, yeah. But shit like that, yeah. you can yeah. talk her into anything. Yeah, that's a good point. How <laughs> you even tell your girl, let's go in the kitchen and make make aluminum foil fly? I'm finna get these hoes on there. Tell, what they tell <laughs> Look at what I can do. You could, now you try. You could tell her literally anything. Like, be like, go rob yeah. a bank. Let's jump, let's jump off. Look her. at let's her. I was gonna say, look at her right now. Yeah. How old is she? Is she over 21? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, bro, she might um, be. She had the perfect age to ruin her life. I don't want to say that the wrong clearly. thing. She, I about to say, bro, she might be like 19. Yeah, bro. I'm not she, gonna make any comments. She looks young and impressionable. He looks young also. But like she looks like she just fresh out of high school and this nigga just finessing her. Is ass. this their mama house or is this their house? It, like it their might be. House. It might be one of their parents' house. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't, I can't make yeah, it bro. He, they retarded though. <laughs> yeah, he fin- He got him a dummy. The chain says it all. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, bro. He, when I see niggas like that, <laughs> I know what kind of time they on. Stones, man. You don't like the gyms and stones again? Nah. Yeah, he got him one, bro. So he got said, you a chain like that. Mm-hmm. All right, good. Cause yeah. I see people with him though. Soon as, her, soon as her credit get good, he like, let's you go start, get this Hellcat. You nah, start he telling like, me you do jewelry and I see them copper rings. Yeah, it's time to distance. Oh, yeah, man. man. He's driving that Corolla right now. She probably got like a uh, <laughs> yeah. She that nigga Malibu. Tearing, that nigga tearing her car up. Yeah, yeah Altima, Malibu. She got that car. Probably a red Altima. Yeah. With the bitches, like I said, by March they are gonna be. I'm gonna look on their page and March gonna come back to it. See if they're they gonna be in a poly relationship. He's gonna have three other women. Yeah. You know, to, yeah Shout just, out to Game. Yeah, salute him. He got him one. That's my real nigga <laughs> of the week, actually. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Yo, they need their ass beat. My real nigga of the week. As <laughs> long as you know how to get to that bag and say the right things when it's time to say them. <laughs> yeah. All right, this one, we're gonna do one more. This one from Fade. Actually, no, nah, we're gonna do that one from Rand also. Somebody tweeted, they said, so uh, one of my followers sent me a video of her playing with her coochie. Okay. And at the end, she tasted herself and yeah. gagged like she wanted to throw up. Okay. I guess I need to block her, right? Nigga came back a couple minutes later, she blocked my ass. I'm like, yeah, she did it for you, bro. But that's yeah. crazy. I would have yeah. been like. <laughs> I would have been like. I would have been so disgusted. Oh, my God. I'm like, bitch, what you tasted that made you want to throw up? I think that's yeah. trolling, though. Huh? I think it's a little bit of trolling. I don't think she gagged. I ain't never seen a bitch gag. I mean, yeah. I don't ever want to see a bitch gag. I'm doing that either. But y'all ever seen a bitch gag? Go, do, do, off doing it? No, no. thank God. <laughs> look I, mean, I mean, if she that, got an STD, she might have gagged. I mean, yeah, that might be that one chick that was at the the shit that we talking about. You said that like she might have met Poon Pot. I don't know. It's got an STD flavor to it. Hey, that might have been might be tart. All right, bitch, what you tasted that made you gag? Straight up, that's crazy. All right, last one from Rare. What did bitch say? It say she not. Oh, this one. I can't crazy. read it. They can't read it. Oh, she not strapped, but she strapped. Why you got your strap on? Why you got your strap on, dog? No, I did it. I'm cheating, no. Yo, then you strap hard and shit. You got like that's how the, we don't sit out here like that. No, we don't sit out here like that. No Diddy though. Look at that shit. No Diddy. Look at him. Look at her. Look at her. No Diddy. It's like in Arizona. <laughs> Switch. This you get Aki Dior at. No, it's not She's drawing though. Look. Why well, you got your? That's enough, man. Still be doing some weird shit. Yeah. Y'all ever seen that one video where that still pulled her pants down? She's like, "How much dick you want? Yeah, that how was much crazy. dick you want? That was crazy." You got to get studs, brains to science like CTE players. He actually right about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, why, why, why would you do that? Studs be tough as hell, too. You ain't I respect them, but they be doing silly shit like that. Like, why? What do you gain from we this? We know it's not true. Nah, bro. My like, favorite. We- <laughs> Some of my favorite videos right now, when they be going up the stud, they be like, what's your real name and what's your stud name? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like that, that shit be hilarious. Like 
That's that right. should be hilarious. They be like, "What's your stud name? Can Tank. You? What's your <laughs> real yeah. name? Michelle. <laughs> right. yeah. And it'd be funny because they'd be saying it like the nigga way. And then yeah. they jump when they they're like Keisha. <laughs> and mama used to call him for real. <laughs> yeah. All right, it's been a been a good episode. All right, yeah. We about to wrap up. Yeah. Happy birthday to Joe again, man. Happy birthday, gang. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate you, dog. Yeah, I would clap, but I'm holding a laptop. Yeah. And I don't want to drop this shit. Oh, fuck you, too. Oh, that's actually actually not smart. You was about to break that (laughs) shit. (laughs) Nigga thunderclap the laptop. (laughs) That shit on like a Diddy party for a second. All right, right, man. It's been another episode of... um, That was gay. Shut up, man. (laughs) (laughs) It's been another episode of R.E.O.P. With all that shit, we out. There's only one thing clapping in them parties.